Wow. Remember two weeks ago when that sectoy blew up every piece of gear we had and our dog? That was a good time. Welcome back to Tuesday Morning XCOM. Uh, in the new year, the first stream of the new year. As we uh, laid up here. Wasn't that great? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, crap. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, woo. Remember that time with, uh, with the sectoid that blew up all our gear? Man, that was, that was something crazy. Oh, am I on the wrong mic? I'm sorry. Hold on a sec. Does that sound better? Are we on the right mic now? <clears throat> we back? I think we're back now. Hello? Mic check. Let's confirm we're on the right microphone before we go any further. Good, we're, we're back on. Okay, great. Ooh, ooh, ooh. As I said, um, remember last week, or no, two weeks ago, uh, back before Christmas when that alien sectoid killed all of our gear and, you know, our dog and also that guy and kind of led to the death of that other guy. Yeah, that was good. That was good when that happened. But now we're back. Now we're back for Tuesday Morning XCOM, the first Tuesday Morning XCOM of the year. Uh, let me know if my mic is screwed up uh, or something as we go here. I've been switching microphones around and all sorts of stuff. Why do I have Linkin Park queued up? That's what I played last time. Okay. Hmm. Now, I think I already ordered everything I needed last week, if I remember correctly. You just let me know if I need to turn my mic up or down or as we go. Music's always a bit loud in the main menu with uh, Open XCOM, don't worry. It's a loud game. I'm pretty sure I ordered everything two weeks ago. I'm pretty sure I ordered everything last week. I need to make more ammo, though. I should have dogs coming, too. What are we doing? We're making a raven right now. Okay, that's right. After the raven's done, that's when we're making the ammo. Uh, let me turn up the mic. Uh, a tiny bit. Just to make sure everybody's happy. Look, you can actually see it happening. It's terrible. Alright, let's turn this up a tiny... Oh, wow, that's pretty low. I see. Yep. You all should be a bit happier now, I think. But let me know. That should be a bit louder. Okay, so I, I, uh, I don't know what to do. I guess it's been two weeks. I kind of got my mind addled over X Open XCOM uh, over the Christmas break. I can't remember exactly what we were doing in God Bless Com. I remember that I'm pretty sure the last mission we did was the one where that sectoid blew up the dog and all our gear. So I think we're just skipping till that's dealt with. Have we got research going? Yes. Yeah, I think we're just waiting. Make a Sky Marshal so you don't get a repeat of last week with the $3 million Sectoid shot. Oh, does the Sky Marshal have a better ramp? I should get one of those. Oh, we constructed an alien containment. That's good. That's great, I guess. Got all these general stores with nothing in them right now. And there's an alien containment. Excellent. Alichi subscribed for 13 months in a row. A few people subscribed as well before you, Alichi. Thank you, uh... Th th thank you very much, Alichi. And sorry those people that I missed who subbed before. You can't sub right at the start of the stream. I'm too busy talking. I don't, I don't see your sub. But I did see that they happened. Oh, it has doors? That's amazing. Okay, we obviously, next time we wipe, I mean, next time we start a new campaign for no reason, obviously we need a Sky Marshal ASAP this time so that we don't get blown up. Yeah, I'm building up my inventory again, guys. Here is my inventory. Uh, do I even, did I even buy ammo? I actually don't know. Did, did I not buy ammo? Beagle, you need you need ammo, Beagle. I know you don't want to buy it, but you need you need ammo. Well, I've got rifles. What if I get a mission and I have zero ammos? 
Well, I'm gonna need magnum ammo, assault rifle. I need a shopping list. Assault rifle ammo. Hey, sub hybrid Ritz Cracker, 11 months in a row. Thank you, Ritz Cracker. Uh, okay, we're gonna need rifle ammo, magnum ammo, shotgun ammo, LMG ammo, HMG, uh, minigun ammo. We got a grenade launcher at least. We don't need alloy flamethrower ammo. Alright, no problem. Where's the. We need tech sniper rifles too. Okay. Okay, thank god. New ammo. So let's create some rifle alloy clips. Let's create 12 of them. So we've got some ammo at least. Hey, what does the new ship look like, by the way? Show me. There it is. Oh, it's so cool. We have to put guns on it, though. Ah, stingrays. What am I, stupid? Ugh. Ah, oh, it looks so cool, though. God! Mmm, it looks so cool. Get lasers? No one needs lasers when you have alloy rounds. Alloy rounds are better than lasers. Oh, you got avalanches? It's fine. I'm sure Stingray and a cannon will be great on the new Raven. I wouldn't be worried. You can rename them too. Cool. You can pretend it's Long War and give them names. Hey, A Avalon Leap just subscribed. Thank you, Avalon Leap. We're right, manufacturing more ammo. Excellent. Let's uh, get our alloys going again. We need a... Uh... I need to get a sub notification, man. We've uh, Jamble's got the sub notification thing going on normal streams now. I need to get, get like a an XCOM themed one. I need like to dig into the game files and find like the perfect Bradford clip or maybe a Van Dorn clip as a little sub notification noise, and so that it gets spammed every time someone subs, every single time. That'd be perfect. It'd be nice if there was software to let you use like a random noise every time. Um, I think we need to make some tax sniper rifles. These are important, so let's make a couple, uh, immediately. Three days and eight hours, holy crap. Alright, we'll do that later. Hey, and make our day subscribe for five? Three months in a row. I had a little bit of, a little bit of something on my monitor there. Thank you, make our day. You've made my day. Thank you so much. No, you did, really. I'm not even lying, you did. Thank you. It's real. Okay, uh, what did I just make? Shells or... Scatter. Don't make me go look. I'm gonna assume we made scatter. I'm gonna make a couple of... Shells. Hey, got a new dog. Good. Okay. We need some minigun ammo. Crap. Give me one of these. Give me, give me two of these. I'm crazy. Oh, I got another scout tank. God bless. God bless com. Light minigun alloy box. Always makes, makes me feel like I'm playing Doom. The light minigun alloy box. Hey, Red Sniper subscribed for 10 months in a row, and I almost professionally ignored him. Red Sniper asks, what's your top three favorite WWE wrestlers? That's easy. Actually, I don't know, because you have different wrestling leagues. My top three favorite wrestlers, uh, in no order, are John Cena, The Rock, and Hulk Hogan, and Macho Man Randy Savage, snap into a Slim Jim. That's a pretty safe answer, I think, for someone who doesn't follow wrestling, <laughs> but does love those four people. There you go. You don't have to follow wrestling to know who they are. Wrestling is, is amazing to me. I, I I almost wish I did follow it. It seems like such a wonderful, whimsical place to spend your time. Okay, let's see here. Alloy clip for the LMG. Let's get a couple of those. Good, good, good. Is there a Cena emoticon? There really should be. I'm surprised there's not a The Rock emoticon on Twitch. Both of those should exist, really. I'm not gonna do them. Someone should. There must be a wrestling channel. Isn't there a wrestling Twitch that would have those? Oh, I think we need to make 
some of this crap. 22 hours? You think I'm made of time? I'm not. Okay, motion scanners are done. Those are important. Your love police says I did not see no that one coming. Haze yourself. Okay, motion scanner is done. Let's make a stun rod. I'm gonna make all my goddamn gear again. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry you have to watch this. Yes! The Sky Marshal! That looks like the normal Sky Ranger to me. Am I wrong? Oh no, yeah. It's an upgrade of the basic Sky Ranger using alien alloys. It is lighter and stronger than solely Earth-based technology. It has a better maximum speed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They didn't even they didn't even update the picture. That's lazy. You look, there's a big sky though, there's a big sky. He's he's all happy. Acceleration three. Oh, you gotta have that top speed. Fuel capacity. Damage capacity, hella. Oh, two extra cargo space and one extra HWP capacity. Wait, what does that mean? Cargo space is the HWP capacity, isn't it? Cargo space, HWPs take up two slots, right? What does HWP capacity 4 mean? I guess it means the max you could take was always 3 or 4. Okay, well there you go. Two extra slots, two extra troops. That's good. And it's come to its firebrand, right? That's right, Colonel Frigfrag. Firebrand is our, our new lady for uh, sky ranging in XCOM 2. I guess it's finally time to get explosive ammo, seeing as nothing else seems to be up to the job here. We need to get some alien captives to improve our research much further. Let's get some explosive ammo. That seems safe. We can now produce Sky Marshal, but we won't, because we need space for that, and I need to get more gear. Oh, I gotta get all my... No, I don't have to get all my armor, thank god. People were wearing armor. Hey, no, wait. Why am I making all this crap? I just realized people had it on them. We still have most of this crap. Like the sword? Do we still have the sword? Because people had this crap on them in the Sky Ranger. So they should still have some of it. Not all of it got blown up. We've got dog, tank. See, thank God we've still got the katana. Memester's honor lives on. Arc1618 says, Heavy cannon with HE ammo takes down cyber discs pretty well. I don't understand. Wouldn't... Armor piercing be necessary for discs? Wouldn't HE be totally ineffective? I don't understand how HE works in this game, if it's effective against armor. I, that's that's meant to be like the only time you don't use HE. You're meant to use HE all the time until you're up against armor and that's the one time you don't. I don't understand. Alright, let's put all of our gear in the Sky Ranger again. Yeah, so we have got some gear because it was on us. So I actually probably bought more than I needed. Like, I probably bought new miniguns, didn't I? No, no, I've, I've only got the... No, yeah, I did. I did. I did buy some new miniguns. Uh, oh, they take up four spaces, so even though they are resistant, it does more damage overall. So doing damage to four tiles of the disc at once deals the damage four times? Holy crap. Oh, that's why HE wrecks discs, and that's why rockets wreck discs. Okay. I never understood that. That that makes a lot of sense. Thank you. Okay, so we want HE rounds. I, I thought it was all about alloy, but it's all about HE apparently. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that in mind. Get this crap out of the way. I want alloy scatter shots. We need more scatter. Get this crap out of here. Alloy only. Alloy or get out. LMG, LMG, alloy. Light minigun. Minigun alloy. Minigun. Minigun alloy. Excellent. The minigun is a pretty good weapon. I need some more rocket packs. We're gonna take the grenade launchers now because we have them. Flamethrower. Uh, yeah, I, I already had a lot of stuff by the look of it. But it doesn't hurt to spend $500,000 or more, does it? Not really. It doesn't hurt to have more. Yeah, more motion scanners. Why not? 56 electro flares? Hell yeah, come on! Just just stack it all in there. Uh, how much armor do we have? Seven armored vests. But we need more alloy vests. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, so we're gonna need another nine alloy vests, I feel. We might not be able to get them just yet. 
Um, so what do we have left to build at this point, apart from the stupid stun rod? Stupid craft module extraction. Um, apart from more alloy vests, which can wait, we need a bit more rocket packs. Multi-launcher. Um, and I think that might be it. We've got our alloy sword, stupid thing that it is. We lost the dart rifle, and we have alien containment now, so we need to get one of these. Uh, and I think that's it. We just need to manufacture. So let, let's let's queue them up. Not that we need uh, an extra tech sniper rifle. Hello, an extra tech sniper rifle. Yeah, we'll, we'll just put that there. Uh, yes, we're gonna build a sky marshal at some point, but we might have to do that in the other base, I think. Uh, we want more alloy vests. We want another nine of those. Um, we're going to need more tech sniper rifle alloy clips, clipazines. We're just queuing this up, so I know it's there. I think this would be helpful. Uh, we need the dart rifle. And we need some dart rifle rounds. So we can trank them just like Metal Gear Solid. Uh, I th oh, and rocket pack. I forgot rocket pack. Get lots of those. And I think I might need a second multi-launcher. Let's just build one. Okay, so we can work on these one after the other. Calicate manufacturer. Let's build a couple more clipazines. I need a bit more ammo when I get the chance to. Sorry to continue the uh, <laughs> to continue the total excitement of clerical duties. Okay, small, very high, southeast, 2300. Let's try out the new Raven. And let's set up the Interceptor as well, and let's compare their speeds. Oh yeah, where's my other base? Does it have a workshop yet? No, so soon we'll be able to make that. Oh, it's so fast! Oh, go, go, come on. You, you can do it. Oh, so fast. That's good. It's gone though. Stupid A is gone. Oh. It's back. We found it. I don't know how you missed it, honestly. It was right there the whole time. But we've got it in our sights now. That raven is so fast! Commissar Fuklaw says you need two to four darts to stun a sectoid. Jesus. Can we get some horse tranks? Like, that seems, seems like way too many. I'm not going to use that damn thing if they're not any good. God, it's catching up so quickly. That's almost real time. That's five times normal speed. That's pretty good still. Wait, not you. Uh, take the raven in. Nice. Handle the easy. Okay. Looks like it's going to be a nighttime small UFO raid. Let's gear up the uh, the ranger. Sectoids have superior physiology to puny humans. Hell no. Sectoids are little babies. Pectoids have pretty good physiology though. You can't argue with that. One the stun rod. We want to capture aliens now. It's it's real. It's real now. We actually want to capture aliens now. It's not a joke anymore. We actually want them alive now. Well, I mean, we don't want them alive, but we want them alive temporarily while we kill them. In the comfort of our own base. Right, more ammo after this one. Luckily, there's a an action break now to your clerical duties. Okay, so we've still got a ton of space. Who wants to go on the mission? The mission to bring home a sectoid alive. Big McLarge Huge is a pretty cool man. Zalzadar Land is out, that's right. Where is, uh, wasn't it Su Manchu? Wasn't it Su Manchu who took over those caves, I think? 
We should take a, a reasonable squad. Let's see here. I've, I've totally forgotten who my boys were from last time. I think Big McLarge shoots one of my, my great shooters. Are. I remember that much. He's the carry. We'll bring him just in case anything goes wrong. Was it Wai Jing who took over the caves? I can't remember. We'll bring Wai Jing. Uh, and so, oh, Sergeant Dead Demon's out. Lightwolf is the commander. He just stays at home and gets promoted for anything. Oh, the stun rod never misses, says Komasaf Fuqua. What? Why, why does that happen? That doesn't make any sense. Zoom in, choose Sniper. Uh, we should bring some new rookies, some new blood. We've got Sergeant Tapcomet to lead the men. We've got Captain Vic Vega. We've got a bunch of sergeants. We should bring some new blood. We need to get some new blood in here. Uh, let's see. Who do we want to bring out of these guys? Angelo. Uh, brave. Totally. Uh. Oh, jeez, I'm just looking at these names. I don't even know who I want to bring. I don't know, none of them, none of them jump out at me. Maybe Zavago. Zavago's got good accuracy, good strength. Bring Zavago. Uh, and David Toma. Massive reactions. David Toma for door opener. David Toma right behind the dog. He's almost got dog-like reactions, which is a good thing, actually. That's good. Uh, let's get the Colonel a little bit off the front line there. Zavago and big reactions, David Toma. Big reactions, no accuracy. Sloxy's a bit more reasonable in that regard. Alright, they're ready there. Big reactions. Bought Kelmore. How have you lived this long? You're not really good at anything. Okay. get some of these sergeants up top. Why you guys lived at the back of the Sky Ranger for so long? I don't understand. That's not where heroes go. I know Dick Kicker wants to be up near the front. He's been in the back for so long. He has to at least go in front of Big McLarge Huge. <laughs> Sack. He's only got one kill in eight missions. Dick Kicker needs to go up to the front of the Sky Ranger. It's been too long for him. Okay, let's get some vests going here. Alloy vests for the front people. And for the Colonel. Dino M of his flamer. Vic Vega with the anti-grab because he's a schnipper. That's right. And then armored vests for everybody else. Should be around 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Wasn't I meant to have more space? I thought I was meant to have way more space. Or do I? 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Ah. What are you going to do about it? That seems about right, I guess. Oh, I haven't built the new one. What am I talking about? I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I haven't even built the new one yet. What do you think this is? XCOM, new XCOM, where you just get stuff when you research it? Shut the hell up. You, don't even, you haven't even built it yet, you idiot. You moron. Okay, let's send the Sky Ranger out. Vanilla Sky Ranger. wish it wasn't a night mission, but then it always is a night mission, isn't it? Okay. It's okay. I was getting good and then I took a break for Christmas. I'm sure I won't wipe the campaign on the first mission. That would be ridiculous. Sloxy? Thank God they hopefully remember the guns they had. Sloxy with... What kind of shots are those? With scatter? Uh-uh. I remember that's bad. Scatter is not good at close range. I mean, not good at long range. It's good at close range. That's all it's good at. 
where the heck go are my scatter rounds? Uh, flares for everyone. Get some flares out there. Who is my melee accuracy person? It might be Sloxy. I think Sloxy is my sword carrier, if I remember right. It certainly seems that way, yeah. Sloxy. Sloxy for sworder. Carry that. Be always ready. Get rid of that combat knife. You're a memester now. And you're loaded up for bear. You're good. Toma, you're one of the new guys, aren't you? Yeah, look at your little rookie. <laughs> you can always tell this is the rookie starter pack. <laughs> Flare, <laughs> incendiary grenade, grenade and high explosive, and the rifle with the highest fire rate. The rookie starter pack. Excellent, Toma. Um, I've kind of gone off, honestly, assault rifles a bit. I kind of just prefer the shotguns now for getting stuff done. So why don't you give him another shotgun? Oh my god. There we go. Gee, I, I don't want to pick that up, I swear. I'm not doing that on purpose. Okay. Good, good, good. Zivago, you're another one of the new guys. You got the rookie starter kit again. Motion scanner. Flare. Incendiaries might actually be good on these missions. Uh, again, let's dump that. And get one of these. Not enough scatter around. They're, they're in all the shotguns, that's where they are. Here, get the scatter out of these stupid guns. I want to use it, but I don't want to use it from the start. Okay, we can probably take the HE off, I think, guys, for the small UFO mission. I think you don't need to react too, too crazily there. Wait, what the hell? You're a marksman. Why did you have an assault rifle? Get rid of this. <laughs> You're meant to be good at your job. Take a good rifle. High weight, too. You could take something like the new LMG, I think. If someone wasn't already using it. Okay, bought Kelnor. Now, you are someone who should probably use a uh, shotgun, but that's fine. Explosive proximity grenade. You're you're ready. You don't need the starter kit. You're ready for action. Need more flares, but that's fine. Dick Kickham's got all the flares in the world. And he's only getting stronger. Look at that. 47 weight. Is it time for Dick Kickham to wield the awesome power of the minigun? It could be. It could be time for Dick Kickham to get all the fun. I think it almost is. I think it's I think it's Dick Kickham time. Screw flares. It's time to kick him in the dick. Where did that minigun go? Oh yes. It's time. Dick Kickham has his graduated to minigun duty with Big McLarge Huge. Big McLarge Huge is so strong. My god. Dino M with the flamer and the magnum for close encounters. Well, no, the flamer is for close encounters. The magnum is for fun. That got alloy rounds? Yes. Time for a glot with the light minigun. Oh, you can use the real one now. Here, uh, in that case, Dick, you get the close... We use the light minigun for close encounters breaching. We're gonna give uh, the, the full one to Julian Glop. So get that out of there. Oh, how come your commander lets you carry a minigun and high explosive? That's so cool. Uh, get me some flares. That is loaded of ammo, right? Yes. Dick Kickham can take the uh, CQC minigun. Very important for those UFO breach close encounters. And now he can take all his flares again, which is even better. Dick Kickham is going to get kills today. Archer432 asks, is the flamer like an AoE shotgun? The flamer is like all your dreams in one weapon. It's a very good weapon. Wai Jing, now we're getting down to the greens. Wai Jing has a lot of accuracy, like an impressive amount. So does Tap Commit. I believe Tap Commit keeps asking me, why do you keep making me use the multi-launcher when I have such good accuracy? That's a good question. Today we'll find out the answer, I think. We've got one tech sniper rifle. So all of you want some accuracy weapons, really. I reckon I can start putting miniguns on everyone at this rate. Probably put light miniguns on every... What, one? That's one light minigunner. 
two light minigunners. I reckon I need to buy two more light miniguns and just use light miniguns on all my troops and make them into the Terminator. Everyone should be Arnold. I mean, I'm pretty sure that would be good for killing things. Uh, but anyway, Wai Jing, you've got the rifle. Give you some flares. You're good to go. Tap commit. Uh, it's because it doesn't fit in your backpack, silly. That's why I keep doing this to you. Yeah, Tavkomet accidentally killed the captain in the Sky Ranger. The guy who fragged the rookie on the terror mission. Who was that again? I've, I've lost track now. Uh, let's stick the multi-launcher in your pack. You can sling it on your back like a good AT rifleman. And we'll give you just a standard assault rifle for picking people off. Someone else will have to carry your ammo, you lazy bones. Gotta get some more tack sniper rifles too. Yeah, Vic Vega ain't carrying your crap for you. Don't even think about that. Got all the tack sniper rifle ammo we need. More flares, why not? Oh, someone should really bring the first aid kit this time, by the way. Anybody wants to do that? You, you, Vic Vega. Hint, hint you. Okay, and that leaves Su Manchu to bring the LMG. And now, didn't I say I was bringing the rocket pack? That's right, on somebody. Not many grenades, but we got the rocket pack. Was there anything I'm missing? I've got motion scanners. I need a stun rod on somebody. I think that's all I'm missing. I didn't bring the grenade launcher on anyone. I should really bring that too. That'd be handy to have. Sloxy, you have to bring the stun rod. No, wait. Apparently it never misses, so anybody can bring it. One of these gormless rooks can bring it. Instead of their stupid HE. Uh, and that leaves us with... Uh, can any of you bring the grenade launcher? Zivago. Kelnor! You have terrible accuracy. Dick Kickham has a minigun. This is the problem with giving everyone a minigun. Kelnor, you're the, you're the grenade launcher. Your accuracy is terrible, but your soul is true. How heavy is this thing? Oh, it's so heavy. It's fine. We're going we're gonna to get rid of the other stuff, and it's going to be fine. Because these grenades aren't very heavy. See? So what do you got loaded now? You got an HE? I'll give you an HE. Uh, incendiary. Oh, yes. Bring a couple of incendiaries for the night. Uh, and that should do for our first use of the grenade launcher. Perfect. This team is ready for action. This expedition, at least, promises success. Oh, God. Help me. Help! I'm dying. <laughs> oh, crap. Um. 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 Let's get one of these gormless rooks out there. Who is the person with dog like reactions? I think it was you, wasn't it, Toma? It was Toma. <laughs> Let's get out there. Get him. Get that guy. First blood for the rook. Nice one. Smoke everywhere. Smoke, 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 smoke. Rooks every day. Alright. Get to cover. Get to something. Get flares out so we can... Pretend to not die. Uh, is that the edge of the map? Excellent, that's really good. Because that means we can kind of cover the edge of the map. So we know they're not over there. Let's get... If only there was a flare. Oh, I should have loaded incendiary first. That is the flare. Uh, let's get Zavago out next. those flares out there, boys. You're the advanced party. At least we didn't get all our equipment blown off off the bat this time, did we? 
that's nice and good. Alright, we don't really have room to do much here. Go kill more. You wait right there. And dog shall go with you. Guns ready. The flame already. I love this little four man unit of just huge guns. Even the sprites for them are just massive. You are big, that means you have big guns. Rip and rip and tear. Let's get over into the side, make some room. This little breach on the side. Oh, don't go out there will be helpful for us. Let's be honest, Kelno was never going to shoot anyone on reactions from there. Let's just get people to that uh, to that shingle, basically. We'll get him over here to get him out of the Sky Ranger. Kelno was never going to hit that shot, let's be honest. Let's just get people ready. You, you guys can all stay in here, though, I think. Okay. I must want to put someone on the roof. No, that's a death trap right now. Okay. No reactions. No more tears. Uh, and that's turn. <laughs> oh, no, no! The dog's bleeding out. The dog's bleeding out, man. Get first aid to the dog. We got a goddamn A. God damn it. The dog's okay. The dog's okay. The dog's alright. Alright, we're clear. Cover the dog. Who's got the who's got the the med kit? I gave it to Vic Vega. Dog down! We we got a dog down already, man. We got a dog down. Don't panic. Don't panic here. We're gonna keep it cool. Scout drone. Get ready. Let's chuck some more flares out there. Okay, it looks it looks clearish. That's all the flares we have on these guys. Sloxy? No, that's all the flares we have on these guys. Ganger World subscribe for six months in a row. Thank you, Ganger World. Six months in a row. Thank you very much. I can't bring my dead dog back, though. Whoa! But there's a flare there. Why can't I see him? Will Beagle ever understand how this game works? Probably not. 41, 16, 16, 32. Auto shot is better. <coughs> Mathematically. Any second now. We'll get him. Don't you worry about that. Oh, he will die. Don't you worry about that. Oh, you need to get out of the way, Rook. The big gun was coming. Go Dino M, don't be fat today. I need to burn a guy. Holy crap, watch out Dino M. You're just spraying that fire hose out of control. He's not even dead Dino M, keep burning him. Nice, okay now stop. <laughs> Everything's on fire. Good job Dino M. Fun times. Put another smoke out. Keep traveling. Flamethrower is a good weapon that makes all your dreams come true. <laughs> He's just spraying that thing around like a fire hose, man. 
just hitting everything with it. That's a good way to light up the night. We got some more flares on uh, Mr. Kelmo here. Oh, you've got an important job, actually, Kelmo. Motion scanning. Okay, that's the dead dog. That's our squad to the right, four and two. That's Dino M. One and five. Actually, no, zero and five. Two, three, four, two. Wait, no, that, that's an A. That's an A there. Five. Sir, I found out the aliens are inside the UFO. Thank you, Kelnor. Well done. Okay, the rest of the squad better start getting out there. Big McLarge, who can be ready behind the wheel. Ready the gun. Ready the big gun. Let's get some of these rooks moving to the side of the UFO. Ready the sleigh of the AK. Tap commits no rook. Su Manchu is also ready to pop out and help. And so is Vic Vega. So Vic Vega, we probably are going to get ready up there soon. Just not just yet. It's not very good cover just yet with the flying and the hohoi. But soon. Why don't we? Why don't we go fly a little bit? That'll be good. Won't you enjoy that, Vic Vega? Yes, that'll be fun. Okay, and... Oh, they're in the damn barns. I hear them opening the doors. I hate it. Can I keep tabs? Four and two. So, yeah, they're still in there. That's what matters. Going to need more flares, chums. Going to need lots more flares. Where's Dick? Dick has all the flares. Dick needs to watch this side as well, though. Let's drop that piece of crap for a second, Kelmore. And send a flare over here. Oh, they could be over there for sure. Give him a burst for good measure, dick. I need to set fire to more crap. Multi track drifting. Lots of multi track drifting. We need to take these buildings then. But we need more flares down here. Which one of you rooks has lots of flares? Waijing! Waijing, let's go. Waijing, throw us many flares. Waijing, you are testing my patience. Waijing, you are terrible. You put that on the roof, Waijing! You're gonna have to go get that back, you realize. Okay, let's just follow after them with the new rookie. Floxy can come too. And so can Gazavago. Can't believe that dog is dead. Um, we don't want to go down there just yet. We obviously don't want to go down there just yet. Sue Manchu out to the gears. Big Mac Large, you staying ready. Dino M ready to burn everything. Tap Comet ready to. I don't know. I don't know what we're doing on this side. We should probably leave that side. But for right now, we're holding. Okay, without the dog, I'm so lost. I don't know what to do without the dog. We'll get Vic Vega out soon. I'm ultra paranoid of getting Vic Vega out. <laughs> Holy... What the hell? 
What the hell was that? Was that door already open? Because it felt like I just got Dark Templar. That was a $50,000 wake-up call that the aliens are invisible now, I think. The hell was that? an alien with a plasma sword. Where's our sword guy? <laughs> oh crap. He's here. I'm so sorry, Sloxy. Hang on. Wait. <laughs> wait. Wait. Oh my god. Wait. Wait, Sloxy. Why don't I have rules of nature ready? Damn it. Just go. And they'll run when the- Uh oh! Oh crap! I didn't kill him. I don't know what I was expecting. Dodge, dodge! <laughs> God damn it. Just walk up behind him and shoot him in the- shoot him in the dick. Da, 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 da. Bum, bum. Oh crap! Da, 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 da. Rules of nature, and I'm so screwed. Oh my god, I'm so screwed. Alive! <coughs> nice, nice job, Rook. <laughs> we needed the song. I need to have rules of nature ready. I can't believe they have plasma swords. Amazing. That's what I get for not having the kazoo version of rules of nature downloaded. Silly me. <laughs> Thank God, Zavago's here. This is Zavago's first mission, isn't it? Yeah, this is Zavago's first introduction to the professional work environment of XCOM. <laughs> Very ultra professional. Did that alien shoot his... Like, did he cut his throat away through that wall? Or did Zavago do that? Or the shotgun? I think the shotgun did that. I think the shotgun did that. Which is an amazing... It's amazing in and of itself, really. When you think about it. Oh, Dino M can just walk through fire, right? I forgot about that. We should just start walking through fire with Dino M. Cause screw it, cause we can. Let's throw a flare over here. And get ready to throw another one. Oh, we can just throw another one straight up. Nice. Just, just keep shooting him, dick. Good job. Just keep laying down the fire over there. Probably start using dick for the, the flares. Okay, there's still creeping a boot in there. I, just, I don't know what I was expecting, really. Let's uh, creep. We'll, we'll have Dino M ready. And then once we've taken over the base of fire down here, we'll go from there. Let's move Time Father Glop down. Hey, Mazuo subscribed for five months in a row. Thank you, Mazuo. Thank you very much. Appreciate that, my friend. I'd say it's now safe to put Vic Vega up on the roof. Wee 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 wee. Finally. Okay. Where is that stupid? Sc oh yeah, the scout train's dead. I forgot. I forgot. Whoops, my bad. It's totally dead. Oh, off in the wheat fields. 
Now it's my time to shine. And by my, I mean Big Vega. <laughs> this is why you get the anti-grav armor. So you can sit up next to the fins of your flying dolphin and just be a big dickhead. Perfect, well done. Did he even scream or is he unconscious? Because we need unconscious ones. I'm not sure if that A screamed or not. Let's get Time Father down here, ready to burst A's with a minigun. Remember, it doesn't matter if there's a wall in front of you with the minigun. Because this is the real minigun. It's the minigun prime. It's not the light minigun. This is the actual minigun. Doesn't matter what's in front of you with the real minigun. You just shoot it anyway. I should just send... What I should do in every mission from now on is just pair a motion tracker guy with a minigun guy and just frag A's through buildings. Just only go next to walls and then exploit the walls. Okay, Tatkomet is ready over here. Dino M can go sit in the fire. Let's send Tatkomet down here, I think. Oh, somebody's got to hold this side with Kelnor and Idiot, though. Oh, Kelnor and Idiot can hold. In fact, we should send Dick around because Dick needs to use all his flares up. Tatkomet. Tatkomet can hold here for now. Tapcomet gonna get shot before he gets any kills. Okay, I think that's the turn. I hear him moving around in there and I don't like it. Why don't I pick up the plasma sword? I can't use alien weapons, unfortunately, off the bat. I know, it's terrible. I wish I could tell you anything else, my friends, about alien weapons. But off the bat, they are not usable by puny humans. Okay, we're clearing down. Once we take this barn, things will get a bit easier, I think. We need Dick to get down here with all his flares, though. carrying a minigun. It's tiny. I don't know what you're complaining about. Oh no, I got rid of all his stamina. No, I didn't mean to do that. <gasps> <Ooh! coughs> <coughs> See, it's okay because to cross all of this distance takes a long time. Uses up all their time units. Tapcomet's getting the kills they asked for now. Yeah, come here, Kilno. You need to keep tabs on these, these people. On these A's. You know, I, I thought about it. I thought, let's just bring everyone off that side of the UFO. Just leave it alone. What's the worst that could happen? Well, that's the worst that could happen. When A's attack is the worst that could happen. We got the shock baton. He didn't have it. I could have tried to hit him, but I didn't really want to take risks to attack Komet's life. Look at that poor dog. Oh, it is dead. Is it? Or is that just what the sprite says? It might just be what the sprite says. We'll see afterwards, I guess. Okay, I think that's our turn. Check it. No, we're good. Don't have to be scared. We're good. Why do aliens always kill the HWPs first? Because the HWPs go first. Hey, that sword probably isn't strictly necessary. 
Ah, oh, it's it's only like ten percent off my accuracy. It's fine. Okay. Come here, Wai Jing. for right now. Bring uh cement you could say there. We'll bring Zavago down. Ready to follow them. Miniguns are still ready. These are my turrets. It may not look like it, but they have firing ports. The fire is starting to ravage all the grass, that's good. Burning the land so that it can never be used again by the aliens, of course. Start. Oh, we can almost start throwing flares. Okay, now we can start throwing flares. Out into the fields. Okay, let's get a bit closer. Start breaching. This is a slow and arduous process to breach the A's, but it must be done. over as well. I keep the LMG here as like my base of fire, but then I keep forgetting I have two mini guns ready to fire, so the machine gun can move. That's fine. No one's gonna miss you, machine gun. You can you can go ahead and move. Looks like we're safe over here. Hey Victor subscribe for three months in a row. Thank you, Victus. Much. Three months in a row as we scout the horrible dark building. Get in there, boys. Cover that doorway from the window. Zavago? I'll move Sloxy in as well. Why don't you guys take cover so you don't die horribly? Then really, Wai Jing should take cover too. Let's just all take cover. And Dick Kickham is ready to throw more flares. Clear. Oh crap. <laughs> Damn. I wouldn't breach that this turn if I were you. I'd hold on that one. Let's get Zavago in there. Probably start bringing Sloxy back. No, Sloxy's out of energy. We'll just cover with Su Manchu. Oh, don't go around, Dick Kickham. You're so polite. Everyone else just shuts the door. You're so polite. Oh, someone's opening wooden doors out there. Okay. 
breach. Breach. Okay, we're clear in here. Machine gun up front. And let's get the minigun ready as well. Ooh, that's a that's a big blob. That blob's moving a lot. some more flares is what we need. Let's keep clearing the upper floor. Who out of you has the better reactions? 40? 35. Okay. Savago is our breacher. floor. Dick kick him. We're just gonna blow this wall open with you, I think. Does anybody here have a motion tracker? Because that would be really handy right now. Nobody? Nobody has a motion? Yes! Zavago has a motion tracker. Good. We'll use that in a second. Oh god, what the hell? They're firing at us, sir. That's what I think of that. You ain't so happy to shoot me now, I bet. Check that. Go, go, go. Clear. I can't turn around anymore. Help me. You're good, you're clear. Let's get back downstairs. Waijing, Waijing literally can't move. He's done. He's done. I'd say you might want to get down, Vic Vega. You're probably being shot at. Oh my god, why Jing? Why Jing? Why Jing, no! Just out of nowhere. Good god. The humanity. Does any of you have a flare? See, Manchu has a flare. I've got him, I've got him. Hit that mf -er. Eat some of that. Eat some of that retribution. Poor Weijing. 
He deserved better. He just popped his little head up just a tiny bit above the stairs, like, what's up here? And that was it. Dead. Okay, we'll motion track through here in a second. At least the miniguns are doing a good job. Motion track. Okay. Oh, you can't cut through that. Lame. Oh yeah, I forgot the light minigun doesn't do walls. The shotgun does. It's only good at killing things at close range. Oh god, stop it, stop it! Stop opening that door, Sumenchu. Okay, the miniguns are ready. No, you can't sword the wall, it's quite tragic. It's a long and arduous breach, but we've almost taken the surrounding buildings. It's a very long and arduous breach. We've almost made some progress. Almost. Every centimeter soaked in blood. No, it's not that dramatic, actually. That's a lie. Might just be stuck inside their UFO now. There's only one way to find out is if we send in Dino M to burn them out. I think probably a better solution is to just sit here and wait for them to leave at this rate. Oh. Ghost Loxy. Take some damn ground. Tome is covering ya. Dick kick him's ready with his flares. You're gonna chuck some flares. Chuck some flares, Dick. Oh, we got a we got an open door over here. We we got an open door over here. Just uh go ahead and spray that. Spray that whole room. I have an open door here. Roger, level the barn. Over. You're clear to just take that agricultural structure down. Thank you, Wondering Smile. Six months in a row. Thank you very much. Flares. Oh yeah, one of the A's might be alive. That's good though, we just need to secure his weapon. Okay, give me motion tracking. Whoa! Whoa, 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 we got motion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven by six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Was that a window? All right then. 
I need everyone to back away from the target area. Over. Yeah, get out of the way, Sue Manchu. We're gonna light that place up. We're gonna light it up good. Take cover. <laughs> oh crap. <laughs> I blew up all my cover. How dare he still be alive? Must be upstairs or something. Damn upstairs A's, I hate him. Five by three. Two, that's still in there, okay. We're gonna have to breach manually, boys. Minigun didn't cut it. The A is still alive. track again oh my god it's right in front of us two tiles ah it's upstairs ah. two tiles only Vasily which would make it right next to this door Shoot him through the roof, hell yeah. You cover those stairs, David Toma. You might come down those stairs. Bring in Dick. Dick's gonna get this A in a second. Pretty sure you can shoot the floor tiles out. I think my shotgun just didn't quite cut it. Hey, stupid like a fox twenty one just subscribed. Thank you, stupid like a fox twenty one. Thank you very much. Let's get a new firing port. As soon as we keep blowing up all our other ones. me you damn A's. Motion track. One, two, three, four. Four and one. Two, four and one. One, two, three, four and one. Right there, okay. That would put him in that upper area. Alright, again, take cover. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, and one. Two tiles from the door. Take cover. Some stray fire might be coming in. Oh god, take cover, Sue Manchu. Every time. What was it? And one from the door, two from the door. Right there. He's still alive. This A is clinging on the life. Clinging on hard. <laughs> and that's how it's done, ladies and gentlemen.
That is how you do it with the United States of XCOM. Fire superiority. Load some scatter, Sloxy. I'm gonna take the rest of this building. He's unconscious, he's not dead. But these miniguns, they're God's most beautiful creatures. Alright, scan us again. Take us in, Mr. Zavago. Miss, Miss Zavago, whatever you are. Get this door for me, dick. Are the A's going to start pouring out of the UFO now, or is it... I think the A's go back to the UFO after 20 turns, isn't it? Got a little bit of motion going on in there. Tap Command has been standing sentry like an English muffin hat guard for so long. So ready to act. Ooh. Oh! Oh! What the... There's a door there? Oh no. Who's going to tell Dino M? There's a door there. I've assaulted this UFO how many times? I didn't know there's a door there. Oh no. Should a reaction fight him, Dino? Well, I know there's an A there, that's for sure. Six and eight, five and nine. Five to nine, six to eight, and eight to five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five. So there's one right there. And then what was it? Five to nine? One, two, three, four. Check again. Five to nine, six to eight. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, those ones aren't outside yet. But this one sure is. Back van. Rip Dino M. He's a very dead man. I think this building is clear. I'm not picking up any more motion. Just get eyes on the uh, just get eyes on the UFO now. I think. Just keep wall banging. That's right. Just wall bang forever. Fifty years of wall banging. There's an open door over there, though. I don't trust that. Maybe that A came out of it. God, I hear them coming. The British are coming. The British are coming. Oh, what? What do you mean there's no motion? I heard the motion. Uh, maybe that was just the door closing. I swear the British were coming, though. I got some British. I knew it. I knew the British were coming. Is there another? There's another door on the left. Damn this UFO and its tricks. It's all right. As long as you have a minigun, you actually can't fail. <laughs> these guys are just. Can you imagine these badasses just like slowly ripping apart this entire little like farming hut, just piece by piece, just slowly backpedaling as they take more and more of it out. These guys are hardcore. Uh, 
That was a good spot though, that was a far away spot. No motion again, apparently. But then how'd that guy get there, huh? Explain that. No motion indeed. Slox, he's gonna make a, a katana charge. Nice. Nice, good. Slox, he's leading the way. Toma, you gotta follow. That's your senpai over there. Well, you can follow next turn if you're tired, I guess. Oh god. Kelnor, you're not using that thing right. They're out there. Give it to me, I know how to use it. Here, walk through the fire. Oh, there's a big signature right on top of us. Oh my god, they're just sprinting out of the UFO. Whoa, 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 I almost killed myself. Watch the friendly fire. Alright, that should be fine. That's not gonna hit anyone else. <laughs> no line of fire is not a real thing. No line of fire is not true. There's always a line of fire. Rip the dog, rip the tank, rip those two peoples, rip Dino M. Who was the other operative that died? Oh yeah, Wai Jing got shot because <laughs> he poked his head out of the roof. Oh man, Waijing, that was pretty funny though. Well, 11 dead A's, 11 corpses recovered, 22 artifacts, and we recovered a whole bunch of Illyrium. We recovered a lot of stuff because we didn't even go in the UFO. Uh, we need more stuff. Send more minigun alloy ammo packs. We like them. We like them, we like them. Definitely gonna need way more of those. You can just, uh, you can just. All right, you make the rest of those. That's no, no. You know what? Make one more of those. Apparently, all the dead, uh, captive aliens died, which is a shame. Okay, we're gonna need more minigun ammo. I can see that. I can see that very clearly. Do you reckon we can get explosive minigun ammo? Because I'd be down with that. Let's make let's make a cool six units of that. We're also going to need more miniguns, I think. Let's get another one there. And a couple more of these. Ah, just get another one for good measure. There you go. Explosive ammunition causes violent detonation on hit, which is destructive to both enemies and the environment. Okay. I guess we should make a heavy cannon, seeing as someone was saying it's good against cyber discs, apparently. Good. Good for you. We should probably put some troopers over here to defend it. And some gear. Send mini guns. Send more mini guns. When will I be able to use the HMG? It's not even as good as the LMG though. I mean, it's the mini gun. Why would you ever use it? What's even the point? Gonna have to send some alloy crap over here. Once the workshop gets going, we can build it over here. Couple of dogs to garrison the base. $50,000 scout tank.
you know, in case we get attacked. I think that should be enough gear to defend the base. We'll send a multi-launcher over. Oh yeah, you'll need one of these. Good point. This is just to defend the base. That's all this is. This is this is base defending gear. Just in case. Anti-personnel mine. Oh, those will actually be good for base defense. Stock up on those. Couple of these. Couple of these. Don't need flares. Couple of vests. Good. That base will be secure. Can we send some of these morons over there? I mean, uh, some of these... Nah, screw it. We should send over, like, Commander Lightwolf to the new base or something. We should send over an officer, like like Captain Graceful Aurora. Someone to make sure things get done right over there, you know? But then he'll never go on missions again. Let's just staff it with rookies. Screw it. <laughs> Woo! Hell yeah! And we're going to need some engineers for the, uh, the workshop. Nice. That base is going to be so secure. Are we still manufacturing over here? Yes. Production of minigun alloy ammo plaque is complete. Good, good. I would now like you to make... Uh, make me another multi-launcher. Make me two so I can send one to the other base. Have I ever played Xenonauts? I have played Xenonauts. Thank you for asking. Okay, we got some more miniguns. Good. Heavy cannon. So what's the deal of this thing? The heavy cannon is a devastating but cumbersome weapon. Its versatility comes from the fact that it can take three types of ammunition. Armor-piercing, incendiary, and high explosive. Okay. So... What am I comparing this to? It's got pretty reasonable accuracy. Oh, and not much TU cost for what it does. Ooh, that's, that's a lot. Ooh, ooh. That's pretty good. Ah, I guess we should build an auto cannon too. Why not? Alright, we'll get on that. We'll get on that eventually. Uh, UFOpedia. Weapons and equipment. Don't you just love learning about things every stream? Let's learn about the heavy cannon. So, what is it good compared to? I mean, a shotgun hits about as hard as it. Or, shotgun hits a little bit under what it hits for. It hits 20 under. That's a lot under. Tech sniper rifle... Tech sniper rifle beats it for accuracy, but you can only fire once in a round with the tech snipe. Whereas the heavy cannon can shoot like three times in a row, I guess. So that's a fair point. You could just light up some cyber discs with that heavy cannon. For, uh... I mean, and if, the, if I'm using the tactical sniper rifle as my litmus, if that's 80, the heavy cannon I'll equip is 70, so the heavy cannon would be pretty good. That should be my go-to for taking out discs, I guess. I mean, I'm piercing 40, yeah. Okay. Damn, 50 on the Magnum. The Magnum... The Magnum's pretty good. Maybe I should just use Magnums. Screw rifles. Okay, so it, it can... It can do a lot of snapshots. And it can put out a lot of firepower in a single turn. At pretty good accuracy. What else we got? Where is the stupid HMG? Why do you ever use this thing? I don't get it. 70 armor piercing. I guess it's got 20 on the minigun, so the HMG is probably better against discs and crap. It can penetrate things better. The minigun has worse accuracy too. I wonder how many shots the HMG fires in a burst, because if it's comparable to the minigun, then it is better. 
I can't even imagine a weapon that's better than the minigun right now. I can barely even imagine that. Rocket launcher, blah blah blah. Multi launcher, too convenient. Screw you, dart rifle. Okay, so the heavy cannon's definitely got its uses. It's like a mobile. Mobile, whereas the minigun and the tech sniper all need time to set up. It says eight shots in a burst. Oh, it says at the bottom. How silly am I? How stupid is Beagle? On a scale of one to eight. 20 bullets. I didn't see that because my mic was in the way. That's right. We've had this discussion before. I don't see how the HMG is comparable when the minigun just fires so many more shots. It must sound really cool or something. I don't understand. HMG needs a buff. Okay, we're still manufacturing. Oh, we got another one. Small. Go get him. Hey, now we got that radar system up. The A's can't hide anywhere, not even in Brazil. Whoops, I, I don't want this. Oh, and now I've got the empty hangers. I should build another hangar. Hell yeah. Now I can build more ravens and I can build a sky marshal down here. Yes! And I can send them to other places. Yes! Hey, Viking Pastry, subscribe for eight months in a row. Thank you, Viking Pastry. Thank you very much. It's a long time to sub, my friend. Get him, Raven. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> Oh, I sh damn it! I shot that out down under the ocean. Next to La Paz. But Peace Day never came. I must be some kind of idiot because I shot it down a pixel into the ocean. Oh, we got another lab, huh? Why did I. Why did I build another lab? I don't want to talk to a scientist. <laughs> Your MF is lying and telling me snit. Why is Beagle using the cannon? It's terrible in every way. Because I, I, I don't want to blow up the UFOs too much. That's why. We should manufacture an alloy cannon because it's slightly better. What's the UFOP you say about alloy cannons, Kit? Michael, the alloy cannon is only marginally less terrible. Yeah, you're right, Kit. It is only marginally less terrible. That's why I never built one. Apparently, it's a fearsome craft weapon. It looks pretty crap to me. Maybe I could go dual, uh, dual stingrays. Maybe that would be better. But there's no ammo. Oh, crap! There's no ammo! Buy more ammo. Damn it, Jerry. I told you to buy more Stingray missiles. Stop playing video games. Pay attention to your job. I need more storage space already. Oh my god. Build more stores. Build more farms. General stores. Production of multi launcher is complete. Now you shall make for me another fearsome weapon. Create for me. Oh, yes! Create for me a heavy cannon. No, make make one. One heavy cannon. Oh, okay, make two. Auto cannon. The auto cannon combines the versatility and power of a heavy cannon with a faster fire rate. Yeah, that's pretty comparable. So why build a heavy cannon? This seems just as good. This seems better. 
Why would you? Why would you not? Why would you not use this? Just auto shot everything. It's got worse accuracy, I guess. Does it? Yes, it has much worse accuracy. No, no, it doesn't. No, I don't understand. It's slightly worse damage. It's not not by much. Why would you not just use the auto cannon for everything? I don't understand. It's it's barely worse accuracy. It's barely worse damage. I I don't get it. Am I missing something? It's like four six points of damage off the heavy cannon. There's like no reason to use a heavy cannon. It's I it's just like vanilla. <laughs> just use the auto cannon. Alright, build this stupid crap because we have nothing else to do. Excuse me, stop making heavy cannons. Make auto cannons. Where is it? There it is. Make make two auto cannons. Okay, that base is looking just great. Just great, folks. All you people, I'm, I'm never even going to meet half of you people. I just bought you to staff this base for me. How do you give how do you give them armor? I gotta do it like this. Peter de Bruyne. Gupta. The first ten of you get armor. The rest of you pick up armor off the dead people. Uh, do you wanna be the flamethrower? You could totally be my flamethrower. It's you. Wow, you're not going to last long. Great! I got a Gupta, that's right. Good, good. Let's give the Raven dual stingrays so it doesn't get shot down by small UFOs. You building that auto cannon for me or what? Thank you. Oh god! Nobody told me about this. Oh crap, it's the end of the campaign. Oh crap. Oh god, oh man. Oh god, oh man. Oh god. Why is this happening? <coughs> okay. An alien vessel is landing nearby. Our base is in severe danger. I don't think I've ever won a base defense. Maybe I've won one base defense in OGX game, I don't remember. All non-combat personnel have been evacuated. What about me? Evacuate me! Alien units will enter the base via hangar doors or the access lift. Defend the base and its vital installations at all costs. This is a fight to the death. If you click on the abort mission icon, you will concede defeat and lose the base. God bless dog, give him a heavy machine gun. This is with all my gear, right? This, this should have all my all my people too. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. That's less people than I expected. Is that my whole scavenger team? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Minus the two who died, right. Okay. Well, the base does have a fatal funnel. We got two dogs with, and hopefully some scout drones. I should have bought some tanks just, just to defend the base with. Okay. Well, we're not going to need flares, at least. It doesn't get dark in the base, right? Hopefully I don't need flares. I should have just bought, like, 50 rookies in case of a base defense, honestly. I don't think you need flares in the base, do you? What are they going to attack me with? What are they going to bring? 
Oh, damn, I only have one per- No! We needed more anti-personnel mines. Crap. Well, bring lots of ammo, because I'm sure we're going to need it over the course of this fight. We need motion trackers at uh, the front to spot the aliens for our miniguns, too. Need more anti-tank mines, damn it. Yeah, drop that crap. Spargo of the shotgun. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Keep the shotgun. Um, grenade. You guys should take HE just in case discs show up. TV, TV etchy. Just in case. Motion scanner is ready. Here, why don't you prepare yourself for the worst, Zavago? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a magnum, right? This magnum is gonna have two drums, and that's gonna allow you to use your motion scanner at the same time. But you've got the rifle in case you need it. Vargo's ready. Okay, Kelnor also has a motion scanner. Kelnor is also prepared. Kelnor has a flare, because why not? Kelnor... Uh, yeah, alright. Alright, keep that crap for now. Might come in handy. Dick Kickem. It's, it's a good day to be a man, Dick Kickem. A big man, a man and a half. Oh, yes. Today's the day, Dick Kickem. Today's the day you, you kick him in the dick with your, your big gun. Actually, will you be able to dart in and out of cover? I think you stick to the light mini gun, Dick. No, I'm ready, Commander. I'm ready for the big one. I don't know, Dick. I don't know if you're ready for the big one. I think you should stick to the little one, just this time around. Come on, you're gonna regret this. No, don't, it's, it's fine, Dick. This is the way it has to be. It has to be this way. Okay, why don't you take... Uh, hmm. Why don't you take an anti-personnel mine, Dick? No, that's too heavy. Why don't you take a... No, that's too heavy. Why don't you take a... Uh, what are we going to give you? The combat knife's just an insult, really. Why don't you take two HEs? There you go. Big McLarge Huge is a man and a half. He's going to take the minigun. That is a man and a half. Where are the alloy clipperzines? No. That's too heavy anyway. Screw it. Shotgun's just light enough. We'll give Big McLarge a shotgun, maybe. I think we're out of alloy clipperzines for everyone, though. We've got two miniguns. Well, who needs a secondary when you have a minigun, right? No problem. I'm sure if you if it comes a time where you need a different gun, you're probably already dead. So I'm sure you'll be fine. Let's just take lots of frag grenades. Whoops. Oh god, no. No, do not do that. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna get new grenades after that. Oh god, but what if the grenade blows up now and blows up all my gear? Oh god. That's not good. Tap Comet. Tap Comet, the greatest hero of them all. Tap Comet, I think this will be a mission where you actually have to start with the multi-launcher equipped. Who's got your rocket pack? Okay, Vic Vega. Vic Vega, I wish I could have given you better armor before we started this. But c'est la vie, as they say. Okay. 
Su Manchu. Get that extra ammo, Su Manchu. You're gonna light it up today. You're gonna light it up, son. We're gonna light this base up. This whole damn base. Okay, and now we get all the dumb kids who are ready to die. No, wait, that's Captain Graceful Aurora. Have some respect, Eagle. That woman's a hero. And I got an extra clipazine for you. Alright, if you need to go down to reserve ammo, here's some extra rifle clips. They're not very good, but they're there. Get some more HE for you, Captain. Just in case. There's a revolver. There we go. Get rid of that. You can take even more HE. I really hope it doesn't get dark in this base. Light wolf. Actually, what you should bring, Graceful, is an extra uh, ammo pack. We're going to need extra ammo packs. Cap and Light Wolf. I'll keep the alloy rounds, might be helpful. Um. Hmm. Uh, bring some extra nades, maybe? Where's, where's Bort Kilnor? Ah, you, you hang on to that Bort Kilnor, alright. Even though <laughs> this this rookie's just got grenades, that's right. T bow, that's normal. T bow's meant to look like that. It's okay. Just uh, leave the HE for the for the real rooks, maybe. Oh, proxy grenades, yes. Captain Lightwolf and his proxy grenades. No, no, no. Wrong, wrong. We need to give those to T bow. Give those to T bow. We'll put smoke on Lightwolf and an extra clipazine. Lots of smoke. Lightwolf's the smoker. Okay, t -Bow, we're going to give you a million and one proxy grenade launches. Uh, proxy grenades. Save us, t -Bow. Save us with proxies. Salzadar land is back with scatter shot. And a motion scanner, apparently. You guys don't get armor. You don't need it. It's not important. Oh my god, this is gonna be hell. Every creeping moment reminds me this is gonna be hell. Spiritual liege. Get this piece of junk out of your inventory. Get a real man's weapon into you. Every man who fights with me today will be my spiritual liege. <laughs> I love seeing the crap that rookies think is good loadouts. Like, okay, I got a rifle and three magazines. Hell yeah, I'm ready. No, don't stock up on magazines. Get something useful. You got good accuracy, man. That's wasted on an assault rifle. Here you go. Oh, you think you're big. You think you're tough. Look at all these ammo boxes. You think you're hell tough. Where's the uh, alloy rounds, man? I think Dick has them. Dick. Where are you? You think you're mega tough, but we don't have enough alloy ammo for you, Lubumia. You don't have nearly enough. If, you th if you're so tough, you can carry some extra ammo for the real mini gunners. How about that? If you're so so brave. Are we out of alloy? No, we got one more alloy. Oh boy. Rookies are just scrambling around. Lugging these giant backpacks full of ammo around for the the, for the more experienced troops. 
It's chaos. It's a madhouse. But we got enough HE to take out a few discs. At least. Okay, finally, you are a rook who should be using an assault rifle. Excellent. That makes a lot of sense. Here, take this too. Take the proxy mine. Well, Bursu Altina wants to use the flamethrower. Who am I to deny them? Really? Hey, if you want to try to use the flamer, be my guest. Be my absolute guest. Be our guest, be our guest, da na na. Oh, we got two flamers. I'll allow it. I'll probably live to regret it, but I'll allow it. Why don't you give it to Rupe? To Rupi. Okamoto, why don't you instead take one of the rocket launchers? Be our guest, be our guest, da 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 da. Rupe? Rupe fiasco? I'm sure you won't live long enough to use all of that flame, but let's think positively, shall we? Yeah, have a have a real gun too. On the house. Ekaterina Koyoyo. You are a Max Man. Here you go, man. Well, I sure hope we don't have to use these people. I'll just say that much. Or oh, that's cool. I sure hope we don't get down to these people. Well, we're in a lot of trouble. Okay, we got an extra alloy clipazine for someone. And a pistol. Too much HE. Big McLarge huge. Or Julian Glop. Let's give it the Glop. Or let's give one of them the Glop at least. Thought there was a Mac. There it is. That's the one I want. Perfect. You're a strong man, Glop. I like it. Okay, I think that's it. Everyone's loaded up. Ammo. We got rookies toting more ammo around. Let me pre-unload these mini guns. So if we need more in a pinch, we can just go pick it up as easily as possible. I think that's it though. Do you see any gear we haven't leveraged here? Apart from the extra grenades. I think we've leveraged everything in this base, almost. Let's do it. Time to die. Oh, what? All my gear just goes and sits out in the... Are you kidding me? Really? I'm just gonna blow up all my gear. Also... Oh, crap. Did you guys... Oh, no. Oh, you guys started out in the, the hell zone. Oh, Captain Lightwolf. No. Who else? Zavago? Sloxy? How would you make a base where these buildings are out here anyway? It's just a death trap for anyone who's caught out here. Why were you guys in the labs when the attack hit? The aliens have all my stuff, man. That's not fair. Oh, there's a little scout drone. Here's Su Manchu. He was taking a nap. The base is so cute. I love the base. I want to play like a little indie Kickstarter game where you just manage this base and they walk around and it's like The Sims. I'd be down for that. Such a cool little base. That's Alien Containment. Look at that. How cool is that? Wouldn't you play that game? I'd play that game. The gear's just everywhere, man. Stuff's gonna get blown up today. Okay, so obviously we wanna get to the choke point. We wanna get to this access lift. And we just wanna hold the lift. That's the idea. Hopefully the aliens haven't... Oh, they've already infiltrated. They've got full reaction units on the first turn. I remember this lesson. Holy 
crap, holy crap, holy crap, 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 crap. The goddamn aliens are already in the base. Door opening intensifies. <laughs> Tanya Tivo is in the bathroom. Yoshikiro is apparently the janitor, by the look of it. If he's got full timeliness, I shouldn't shoot him this turn, right? Right, I think. Oh god. These guys shouldn't even try to run, they'll just get cut down with the lift. You guys just gotta hold what you got. you got. Just put a proxy at the door and just hold what you got. Oh, the dog. <sighs> maybe the dog can get us out of here. If the Maybe if we could all at least get in one room, we could hold together. If the dog can get us to safety. Oh, even Sloxy's here with the sword. Okay, dog. Holy crap! Don't move! Do not... Do not leave your posts. Stay in your rooms. Hell has come. Oh, God. Dog... Oh. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. We got a scout drone. Dog, don't chase the frisbee. It's not a good idea. Oh, oh. Close the door behind me. Oh, I can't close the door. It's automatic. No. How do you close automatic doors? Oh, God. I can't close the auto doors. <laughs> we, we just all got to try to hold together, I think. If we can get together. At least we've got a scout drone here to help us. Is that... It's another dog. Okay, we're clear. Am I missing any more dogs or support weapons? We got a scout drone in here. We got a scout drone. Okay. We got a scout drone up here. This is gonna take a while, by the way. I'm sorry, but it's gonna be fun. Base, base defenses are fun. They just take a while. Fall back to Ekaterina's room, I think. And hold what you got. Sound? Oh no. Where's that little scout drone? Where's that brave little scout drone? Didn't we have a scout drone over here? Where the hell has it gone? You're so little and easy to miss. Where did you go? Where did you come from? Where did you go? I'm serious. Where did the scout drone go? Did I move it already? There's one. Oh god. <laughs> Hello, A's. 
There it is. There's the scout drone. Okay, run. Run now. <laughs> this is so scary. Run! Run! Run, cowards! It's so freaking scary. It's like playing hide and go seek or something. Okay, so all the all the people in the aft section are more or less safe now. Or safe as it's gonna get. Just reaction fire this doorway if he comes for you, Glop. I think is the right choice. Now let's get everyone else ready. We're not gonna shoot this turn because of the possible reaction firing, apparently. It's apparently how video games work. But we're gonna be ready to shoot. Let's get Mr. Flamer Man over here. Cross the street. Polson, get yourself ready. This is the original base. This is the NA base. Hashtag NA loss incoming. This base is so pretty though. I can't get over how good it is. It's really nice. Come on, men. I need a midi of Klandafu drop right now. Does that exist? t go hide in the custodial closet. Gibson to the bathrooms. Gibson to the bathrooms. Oh, Vic Vega, my big sniper. Big sniper gonna go so, so big. I'm feeling it. V Vic Vega is gonna annihilate from this position. I know it. I know he will. Vic Vega will destroy from this position. We want the miniguns back here too. We want the miniguns back here going down this hallway, I think. Let's get, uh, maybe this middle hallway. Triangle Syndrome. Someone cool, that better be a midi of Klandafu drop. No, that's just normal Klandafu drop. That doesn't suit, this is OG XCOM. It needs to be chip tuny. Are the walls destroyable? I don't think so. I think it's like an underground dwarf fort and the walls aren't destroyable at all. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. It'll be a nasty surprise if they're destroyable. I'll say that much. Dick kick him. We need to get them to all the good positions, like, all these positions that are currently possessed by rookies with crappy little weapons, this is where we want the miniguns, like minigun here, minigun here, minigun here. Come on, tap commit. Time to die. Have we missed anybody? Is anybody hiding like Gaius Bolter up here? Yes. So we got tons of people hiding. I wonder if I put Kelner over here, if he can just motion track them from above. He should be able to, right? He can do it from the custodial closet too, though. That's a really nice bathroom. Is that the commander's bathroom or something? That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh, we got a scout drone up here too. Imagine... Imagine if we could dig through the dirt, if we had like some dwarves or some imps from Dungeon Keeper. We could just dig right through here and just, well, the access lifted there, so that's bad. But we could, we could dig through to our beleaguered allies who are trapped in the laboratory section. If only. Okay, bring that scout tank down. I'm so glad we got the scout tanks because they can pop the corners every turn. Do 
some multi-track drifting. Kelnor, get to the custodial closet immediately. Kelnor to the custodial closet. And Su Manchu of the LMG. Let's go. Okay, I think everybody's moved. What will happen when we press end turn? I wonder. I mean, I feel like we're all just going to die out of nowhere, but that can't happen. They still have to obey the laws of, of like, reality, right? I'm pretty sure they do. They can't just kill me through walls. I'm sure we'll all be fine. already. Okay. Uh. Oh god. Eggman202 subscribe for three months in a row. Thank you, Eggman. Thank you, Eggman. Oh. Oh, oh we're alive the first turn. It's all thanks to Eggman. Use the scanner. Holy crap! Holy crap, Commander! Oh, they're coming. Nine by nine. We got one eight by seven. Okay, we got one eight by seven, and then we got nine by nine, nine by eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we got like two right there. <sighs> 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 Should we wait till they get into the kill zone? No. Plop's in trouble there. We, sh we should pop out and shoot him. No, no, no. no. We we if we wait until they get into the kill zone, though, then we can flank him from one of the directions. But what if they attack? But what if they attack Glop in his room? We should uh, proxy nade that side. t bow t bow get up here. Open that door for T-Bow. What do you mean you can't throw there? All you're good for is throwing. Okay, we got a proxy, proxy nade in position. Take cover. Kill more, cross across. You need, you need 56 to shoot. Hide in the corner, Glop. Shoot anything that enters. I'm so scared. I'm so startled. Okay, we gotta, gotta keep these people moving. Gotta keep it moving. Reaction fire? Why not? Can miniguns not reaction fire? Why, why can't I reaction fire? I don't understand. I don't understand how games work. You can only reaction fire with snapshot. Oh crap! Okay, well, Glop might be in trouble then. He's not going to be able to make it out in time. He's cut off. He's just got a hold, man. Oh, no, wait. Here we go. If you can only reaction fire with snapshot, then let's give him a snapshot. Come get me, A's. Come and get me. Is he, is he actually going to use that to reaction? He's still got the minigun sprite out. 
Now he can't run to the server room. He'll be gunned down. He's just got to hold, man. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. He's going to be fine. He's going to be A-OK. -okay. Jeff says reaction shots use the fastest shot available. Did you get Glop killed with your false information? You better hope you didn't. That man's a national treasure. They're holding behind the filing cabinet. Keep going, Janicek. Actually, come back. What if they fire a grenade down this corridor? Oh, God. Do you reckon they're that smart? No aliens can be that smart, surely. Okay, but everyone's ready over here. Now, meanwhile, over in Hell Zone. Uh, let's go and let's go and get comfy upstairs, Sloxy. You and the dog are gonna do a, gotta do a lot of holding. Oh, you gotta do a lot of holding. You and the dog are screwed, basically. Holy crap, you guys are so screwed. Uh, the cyberdisc can't get in here though because the cyberdisc is too big, so we can only be attacked by sectoids. Sectoids who we will have full reaction fire against. If I crouch. We'll have good cover. So, I mean, it, it's it's not so bad, right? It could be worse. I should load scatter. Uh, let's go hide you back here, dog. Dog hiding. Okay, and then... Let's just hide behind these desks. Stupid lab, yeah, my god. Get out of my face. Oh, they're all going for Sloxy. Ripping pizzas, Sloxy. They're all going for Sloxy's room. So dead. So dead. So incredibly dead. So beautifully dead. So magnificently dead. Come on, dog. Should I put smoke down? Will that help me? That'll, that'll just help them. We got so many, so many damn scout tanks. Okay, let's, let's like put one in front so that they shoot it before they shoot our troops. Put them in prime $50,000 fire drawing positions. Sloxy's so dead. And that dog too. Okay. Now, let's just go through and delete the TUs of everyone because we're not actually going to react this turn. I have this feeling like I'm going to get mind controlled or something. I think I have the thing on that requires line of sight to psychic, which I think is much more fun, actually, so it's alright. I don't think there's anything fun about getting, like, psychic Like, if that wasn't on, I'm pretty sure what would be happening is up on the second turn, half my team would have started panicking and killing each other, which I don't think is hugely fun. Okay, here we go. Glop. Glop. Oh my god, what was that? Oh, we got one. We got one. We got one. We got one, boys. Bought. Use the thing. Okay. Two by three. And four by four. 
One, two, one, two, three. Holy crap. One, two, three, four, two, three, four. Okay, we got two right there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, so they're not out there? The hell? Tricky spot. Right, good. <coughs> Dropped one. <coughs> Cut him down in the kill zone. Oh, this is so tactical. This would be so much harder about strafe. So much harder about strafe. That was good. That was good. Give me the uh, scan again, Zavago. Oh no! These guys. These guys are so screwed. Oh god, these guys are so screwed. They're coming up the stairs, man. What do we got? Two by two. Hands of blue. I can't even see the numbers. <laughs> they know. They know, man. How the hell do animals even know? Freaking animals, how they cut the power. Uh, there's just a lot coming up, two by two. One, two, there. Uh, oh, no. Uh, get back, I should throw the proxy. Get way back. Get back into the back of the room. You get get right back. Oh, it's gonna be pretty hard to throw the proxy in this stupid room. Uh, I'm gonna equip it this turn, and then we'll throw it next turn. I don't think we'll have the TUs to do it all in one turn. It'll be 25. It'll be too hard. We'll just hold for this turn. Okay, you don't get a reaction this turn, but if you were going to live at all, you're going to need that scatter eventually, so thank me later. It's probably a good thing. Oh crap, I blew up the upstairs too. Who knew? Proxy grenade's too strong. Can I get Glop out now is the real question. Uh, if they're all dead, then we should be able to move T-Bow. Okay. No, don't throw the proxy yet, of course. That would be bad. Let's get Kelnor in here. Glop might be able to move. Let's get the scout tank checking it. I'm gonna get you out of there, Glop. I think we're gonna get you out of there. Nice. Run for it. We gone, we gone. Glops out. Good to see you, Mr. Glop. Good to be here. Glop is safe. Put the proxy on the scout tank. You can't do that, sadly. You can do it on the dogs. Oh, you're right, that's what I should, that's what I, no wait, because if you prime it, you'll die. Because the dog would have to drop it at its feet. Yeah, that's not a good idea. <laughs> if there was like a delay on the fuse of the proxy, that might work. I can't holster his magnum just yet. Okay, let's delete the time units on those rockets. And let's hold, boys. Uh, I might put the flamer 
What are we gonna put the flame on? Flame is fine there, I guess. But we might put it back a bit. Dick, go ahead and cross over. I mean, not Dick, uh, Angelo. A lot of rough bar, Jesus Christ. Uh, Big McLarge, you kind of needs a rook to open this door for him. Gibson, you're the man. No, Spiritual Leech, you're the man. You're going to be the door opener for, uh, for Big McLarge. Huge. When he says, you open that door. Tap commit, come across down here. I'm sorry I'm taking so long. It just it feels like there's so much to do and I, I don't wanna I don't wanna miss out and do the wrong thing. Let's get some of you extra troops behind closed doors just in case they like, I don't know, throw a blaster bomb down or something terrible. Some of you extras can just chill. We don't need you all here right now. Can hold the sides. One, two, three, four. So it's about a, a nine radius on the proxy grenade. Hmm. Dear God. I'm thinking, sorry, I'm just thinking about something I'm not vocalizing. Uh, I mean, nah, nah, let's just, let's just carry on. Put another proxy down there. Uh, next turn, next turn, put another proxy there. Angelo, do you want to be a door opener? No, you're good where you are. Okay, I think we're all good. Let's just uh, delete the time units on the Rocketeers just to be safe. Let's in turn. I think this turn we're gonna get attacked in the labs. Oh Christ! The tanks are reaction firing smoke. What the? Oh! Ah! Oh. It's because I loaded the scatter. I got Sloxy killed. Oh my God! I shouldn't have loaded the scatter. I didn't have enough time. Damn it! People are dropping like flies. Take them out. Little bastard just close range blaster bomb me. I can't get a shot at him. Are you kidding? Damn. Get him. Get him. I really can't hit him. Gog damn! I really can't hit that little son of a son of a bee. My god, it's a fight for your life. Fight harder. Okay, these guys are not holding very well. Captain Life will is about to go down, I think. Goddamn scout tanks. I always forget their reaction fire smoke. Let's get bought up close. Three to six. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we got plenty of time. Throw proxies. Get that minigun ready, Glock. It's about to go down. Labs are going down. We're going to be next. 
Everyone's in position though, I think. Now we wait. They listen over the radio as the horrible screams come in. And those are the horrible screams, by the way. Jesus! Oh, I still got the smoke tank out there! Fire that smoke, Rick! F fire that reaction smoke! I forgot you were there! You're so little! <laughs> Termino! Stay calm! Oh, crap! Why are you rookies going berserk? Nothing bad even- Oh, no! Why are you going berserk? Nothing bad even happened to you. No! That is the wor- This is the wor- You didn't even have time units. Holy crap. Okay, no more flamethrowers for rookies. We had an alive attack dog? We had an attack talk. I'm more impressed how Bursu got berserk, stuck like, just thrust his flamethrower nozzle through a, like, a plate steel wall, burned fire outside of the wall, and then, and then turned around and killed David Toma. No more flamethrowers for rookies. Drop your flamethrower if you're a rookie. Not allowed. Just, just drop your gun if you're a rookie. A Jaxify ten months in a row. Where, where is the dog? Where is the dog that went berserk? Holy crap! Maybe we can get a grenade over there. We're not surviving any other way, let's try it. That'll do. I don't know where the dog is. Oh, there's the dog. The dog's gone berserk. Good. Good job, dog. And before I forget, I need to get that scout drone out of the way. Where is the scout? Oh, it's on the proxy mine. Oh, you better not move, Scout Drone. You, you know what? You're just dead no matter what, Scout Drone, I just realized. Sorry, Scout Drone. It's a $50,000 mistake. Sorry, I'm... I can't see them, but I know they're out there. All rookies will now drop their weapons. David Tomo is so screwed because of you idiots. Who had the uh, who had the med kit? I think Tomo's pretty dead, but we can we can pray. Lightwolf has one, but he's dead. Vic Vega has one. Vic Vega has one. Get a rook to come grab that. That's pretty good energy, actually. That's pretty good movement. Uh, but just move to here instead. I would feel safer if you just dropped that for right now, Yoshikiro. I would feel much safer if you just weren't wielding that at the moment. You know what? I would just feel safer if all the rookies just had their guns ready to fire, but didn't fire them right just yet. How about all the rookies just take the ammo out of their guns? That seems fair, doesn't it? Yeah. 
That's a good idea. Hey, Villa, you need to bring that AT mine up, though. That'll actually be useful. Who's the commander? Is Lightwolf the commander? Oh, crap. Lightwolf's the commander, isn't he? Oh, morale's gonna take a nosedive. Crap. Just, just go ahead and unload your guns. That's better. I think we'll all feel much safer now. You too, spiritual liege. There we go. We'll get you next turn, Gibson. Oh my god. That poor scout drone that can't move. Beep boop, I hate all of you. Beep boop, boop bop. Wow. Zivago. Chuck a sweet incendiary grenade over there. That'll keep you guys safe for a while. Zavago. Oh my god, Zavago. If you don't chuck that grenade, there's going to be some bad times online. Oh my god, Zavago. Oh my sweet god. Okay. Throw it to the captain. This is a dangerous maneuver that I've only accomplished once before. There we go. Nice. Dog's back. Dog's back in the game. Dog's back in the game, baby. Don't worry. Dog's back in the game. Right, what's going on out here? In this sweet hell. Four to five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. They're all in that room. Okay. Hey, look. David Toma's alive. Who knew? Um, Bursu, you can go ahead and unload your flamethrower, buddy guy. Don't worry, just go ahead. Toma, uh, congrats on not being on fire anymore. Where's your gun? Where'd you drop your stupid gun, Toma? Oh, no, Toma is on fire. I'm wrong. Toma's very on fire. Toma is exceptionally on fire. How, how will we put you out, David Toma? David Toma is not doing well. Graceful Aurora's got the idea. We're gonna grab the kit, Gibson. And we're we're just gonna go save Toma, Gibson. Just uh, just just drop your rifle, we'll get it later. Oh, you, you, uh, you, you keep it for right now, I guess. This this is going great. This is going fantastic. Let's do a let's let's set up a rookie relay race. To throw the medkit to Toma. <laughs> oh yeah! Party over here! I'm just gonna go ahead and unload that. And you just... Why don't you go help, Lubomir? Why don't you... <laughs> it's just a guy running around the base on fire. Woo! Oh, well, there's my gun. Okay, are there any rookies with ammo left in their guns? This is important. We need to make sure there are no rookies with ammo left in their guns. Yeah, let's uh, just go ahead and get ready there, Yoshikiro. And then like an A comes around the corner and I die because no one's got ammo in their guns. I think we're good now. I think everyone's actually ready. Ready to die. God bless that tank. Oh, Toma. <laughs> God damn it. You freaking God damn it, Bursu. You piece of crap. 
<laughs> Deliver this to Bursu. Tell him he's going to be using it from now on. You pick up that ammo. That's good ammo. You're going to be stun running from now on, Brusu. Oh, we got one close. Two by two. Six by three. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, but there's the one I, I see him right there. I see him. I see the A. We should kill him with impunity. Steady. And fire. <coughs> Oh my god. That was poor, Su Manchu. Let me show you how a real man does it. You're meant to kill both the tank and the sectoid. Goddamn tank. That tank was screwed anyway, but come on. Why do you have to shoot it? the miniguns are good. We're just screwed when we run out of minigun ammo, I think. That's the only problem. If only we had the proxy grenades up here. A couple of mines, we could hold this damn room. That we're currently smoking ourselves out in. That's it! That's the idea! Let's just smoke grenade ourselves, pass out, and then play dead and the aliens will never kill us. That's a great idea. I, uh, I think you've got a good idea there. Yeah, get that second grenade ready, though. Let's just hotbox in the laboratory, and they'll think we're dead. Okay, four by one, two by four. One, two, three, four. One right there. One, two. One, two, three, four. Okay. Get one of the team killing rooks to come peek for me. Seeing as we lost all the scout drones in a horrible accident. Please tell me there's at least one scout drone left. Those things are actually pretty useful. Did I kill all of them? I killed all the scout drones. I guess rookies will be our scout drones now. Come here, Rupe. Where'd you say he was again? Because I can't see him. Four by one. One, two, three. Wait, what? Two by four and four by one. One, two, three, four. Oh, I was counting wrong. Okay, so he's right there. So I'm just gonna. <laughs> That'll work. Rookie, go get me more ammo. Find who has my ammo and go get more of it. Immediately. Who has my ammo? Aurora has some ammo. Lubomir has some ammo. Okay, Lubomir. Lubomir. Bring me my ammo. Immediately. Rookie. Your job is to go and get ammo from Graceful Aurora. And somebody get that stun rod to the team killing idiot. Oh, that was you. Crap. You can do it later. You get a shotgun now, rookie. You get an upgrade. Drop that HE. Now you can do it next time. Okay, at least we can just sit here though. With all the rookies with their guns unloaded, we're safe. Ish. We're safe ish. Just gotta make sure nobody's peeking. Don't peek, man. See our strats. Meanwhile, he thinks it's time to throw another grenade. Oh crap, I forgot. Lightwolf has to throw them all. Good thing I don't set those to zero.
Okay, we're out of grenades. This plan isn't gonna work much longer. I sure hope this smoke kicks in soon. I sure hope this stuff is as dank as you say it is. Oh, two by two, three by two. Two by two, three by two. One, two, one, two. One right there. Three, two. Okay, we got him in the open. I need a face checker. Nice, rookie. Good face checking. Can I shoot through these walls? I wouldn't count on it. Okay, how are we going to get this guy now? I actually need a flamethrower. Where's the other one? One, two... What was he again, Kamal? Three by two. One, two, three by two. Okay. Hmm. If he has more reaction fire, I don't really want to peek out. There is a proxy grenade right there. We can just let nature do its work, I suppose. Just hide for this turn. That should be fine. We'll just let nature do its work this turn. Where's the, uh, where's the ammo rookie? Rupe! Rupe, go! We'll just let him get in a little bit. Bye-bye. They laughed when I built all those proxy grenades. They laughed at me. But who's laughing now, eh? Six by two. Crap, one got in. Six by two. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. Oh, they're in the glop room. That's fine. You can you can hold the glop room if you think that'll help you. Because I know it won't. I was in the glop room. It wasn't fun. The proxy grenade strat's working pretty well, though. Proxy mines are always good. They're never not good. Oh crap, I left the rookie out in the open. Uh oh! Anybody got a smoke for rookie? Hey, you went past the guy you were meant to go to too. Okay, I'll save you rookie, hold on. Don't worry, you're good. Here's your dumb ammo. Take it and leave me alone. Okay, we're holding, we're holding, we're holding fine here. We're holding good. The commander is commanding. Commander Lightwolf is commanding from over here. Maybe I should just get even further back and like just, just hide as much as possible. And just hope they can't find me. Now you're right. There's no sense taking the coward's way out. We're all dead already. I dare to ask you this, Zavago, but what does the motion scanner say? Okay, we're not really out of the woods yet. Holy crap. They're, they're really angry. There's little clusters of them. Oh no, those are discs. Oh, the disc can't get us. Looks like one sectoid, and if I'm reading this right, three discs. But then the disc can't get us. Sir, we might be safe. The sectoid is three by four. And the disc is just four. One, two, three, four. The disc is down there. Two, three, one, two, three, four. I think it was here, so it's in the hallway. We might be safe, because the disc can't get us. We might be safe. Alright, Rook. You know the job. Get at the glop. Get him to glop. Did that proxy go off? I don't, I don't recall. 
six by four now. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Right, in the middle. You know it. He's not even dead though, is the crazy part. That's how you do it. You don't even need to see him to kill him. Motion scanner is God. Motion scanner is love. Motion scanner is life. God bless motion scanner. Let's move you back just in case that proxy goes through a wall. Motion scanner is life. I love the idea of these troops who can't even see the things they're shooting. They're just trusting, trusting what they're being told. Beyond visual range. Scan. Oh, the discs are moving. Three by four. Still in there, all right, no worries. We're gonna hold, Commander. We're gonna be fine. Yo, I'm sure they're coming for us right now to save us. They wouldn't leave you to die. Four by six, eight by six, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. They're okay, they're still in there, that's fine. I can wait, I got patience. We've set fire to the mess hall. What is there in life now? What did you say it was again? Was he, uh, four by six? One, two, three, four. Three, four. Okay, so we can cross right now. Lubomir, give me my ammo. Stupid rookie. And then go deliver the stun rod to that idiot. Got the med kit here. For somebody with more weight than Arthur Gibson. Arthur, how did you get this far without having your gun unloaded? Bad boy. And you too, Billy. You got around it. No more. There you go. Unload that gun. Triangle Syndrome. You just got a battlefield promotion to my new medic. If I can find it. There you go, battlefield promotion. Next turn. Alright, keep holding. Keep holding. Four by two. One, two, three, four, one, two. These are the ones where it's hard. We should let them cross in further. They, they're looking down this way. If we pop out from here, they'll shoot us. We'll just wait. We'll wait for them to cross into the kill zone. X marks the spot. See, X for XCOM. X marks the spot. Battlefield promotion. New medic. New medic achieved. Alright, let's put you in a central position of that kid, actually. Go give him his stun rod. Because he's a dip. He's a dump ass. Here you go. Here you go, idiot. Commander said screw you, by the way. Dump one of your stupid flamethrower rounds. Dump the one that you killed people with. Okay, let's let's let let's let him get a bit closer. Seven by two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. He's back in the glop room. They love the glop room. Oh wait, no, you're meant to be out here. Come on, man, get with the game. Oh, 
Oh yeah, and you've got ammo. You meant to be you meant to be moving. Bring that ammo up. Okay. Seven by four, he's in the open. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four. Same spot. One shot. One kill. This is how it's done, boyos. This is how war is fought. You thought it was glamorous? War is murder. And we just gotta be better at murdering than the A's are. more sniper rifles for the next base defense. Send some tech sniper rifles to rough base immediately. Four by two. Let him close, let him close the distance. Seven by two. Four by two, they're coming now. They, they move to the glop room. Holy crap. Oh! Oh, baby, a double. Four by six. Beep, 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 beep. He needs to make the noise. Hold the proxies for now. I think we can probably hunker down with Time Father for now. Just because we're pinning him down from the side right now, we don't really need his his efforts immediately. Where do you say they were again? Four by six, so we can move him. Probably get him to a new position. I'm constantly worried about getting sniped by like explosives around the side, so I'm gonna move him to a new position. Same with Dick. Get people in covered positions, so I can't be sniped by explosives. Need some door openers. Um, you should be able to move to... You'd be able to go inside here. Let's get a hold out in the custodial closet. Does Glop have his ammo? No, you're right. Someone needs to bring Glop's ammo. I nominate you, Rook. Oh, you're so weak. Uh, tap commit. Someone will get his ammo for him. It's fine. Pullman. The AT mine, alright. Uh, Lubomir. You brought it, you go get it. Soon. Where the ever am I? Rupe. Let's go, Rupe. Stay indoors, then we can't be bombed out of nowhere. Now get to the bathroom. Though. How many times have I said that? I love this base. It's so cute. Such a cute little base. Four by two. Four by two means let him come in. It's code. I'm learning the codes. Hey, throw some more smoke. Save our souls. Actually, no. Smoke's the opposite of what we want. Don't 
going through smoke. What was the exact 4x2 this way? Yep, let him keep coming. We're gonna get glopped to the bathroom. Glopped to the bathroom. Can I come too? Yes, Rupe, you can come as well. Turn 20. The magical turn when the aliens start acting weird. 7x2. 7, 2's two. Seven, in the glop room. This is their movement. This is what they do every time. I'll double check just so no one gets killed. But it's 7x2. This is their move. This is their trick. Everyone's just chilling in the bathroom with Julian. Can you actually imagine how this would be in real life? Like, you got three dudes just sweating, scared out of their minds, crammed into the urinals. Like a huge dude with a minigun just popping out a little bathroom door. <laughs> Porcelain and pissing ass going everywhere of every shot. Poop and urinal cakes just getting thrown around the room from the from the, the gun exhaust. It'd just be, it'd just be on. Yeah, get the, get the ammo across. Good man. Good man, Libazia. Grab that ammo. Run that ammo. That sounds angry. Seven by four. It's the magic spot. One, two, three, four. They love that spot. All sectoids were trained at the same Stormtrooper Academy. <laughs> yeah, we need more of these rifles. <laughs> okay, let's uh, stick extra ammo around here. Hold on, boys. Big Vega, hero of the base defense so far. Actually, no, Kelnor, hero of the base defense. Kelnor with the insane, he should be the commander with the insane teamwork. Three by one, that's a new one. One, two, three, one. They don't usually go there, they're changing up their tactics. Let's drop some ammo in here. He's gonna kill himself, so... Herself, so let's just go ahead and get her ready. Can't let him get a foothold. Oh, what the hell? We got a disc incoming. And five by three. Sir, it's in the hallway. Back five by three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Oh, crap, it's right there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Get down. I'm about to bring the rain. Rain complete.
Watch out for that incoming disc, though. Prime 27, throw... Th we haven't got enough time units. Get ready for that disc. The disc is coming. And we're gonna put a lot of fire on it when it does. Believe that. Okay. Let's see this stupid... We need to get that anti-tank mine up here for the discs. Oh crap! Three by one is the furthest tile. Two, three, one. It's right there! Get this open, I gotta proxy it. I gotta proxy it. Disc is coming! Who's got that stupid anti-tank mine? We need it. We actually need it. I forgot about that. Pulson! Pulson, we actually need the mine. It's crazy, I know, but we actually need it. I uh, just, just get, just, 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 I, I, just start moving. No, wait, what if you die? Oh god. Just hide. Hiding's easier. Disc in flight. That's right, Spiritual Liege. Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Oh no! They're finally taking us out in the commander's room. What if we panic at the worst possible time? Back four. Oh crap. Back four. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's right there. Holy crap. Team, back up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. One shot on the disc. But we need more than that. We need to pop out and minigun it, but if it's ready for us, it's probably got reaction fire. Pulson, how long will it take to prep that mine? too long. Maybe we let it close on us a little bit and then when it goes past us, pop out and BOOM! But if it goes too far, we need more motion tracking. Who's got another motion tracker? Savago. Savago's in the hell room. Anybody else? Spiritual Liege does, that's good. And so does Zalzadar land. I think Spiritual Liege is in the bathroom, isn't he? Where's Spiritual Liege? Spiritual Liege is the door, door kicker. The good thing is, the disc can't open the doors, so... If we just stay ready, we'll be okay. It, it can't, it can't open these doors. So we just wait for it to, to move, and then we'll screw it up next turn. Graceful, you should probably go upstairs. Can you make it? Can you make it into that room? Yes, go go to that room. What about graceful? It won't be able to move that far. I'm uh, not graceful. Uh, you mean yeah, graceful? Graceful moved. Vic should be fine though. There's no one not in a cyberdisc proof door except for Vic, and Vic's Vic's hell far away, so he should be fine. Now the command room. They're trying to gun our people down. I won't have it. Crap, I will have it. 
Can't get him. Nice. I won't go down without a fight. Got any more of them? Oh, plenty. Plenty, sir. Plenty of them coming. Okay. We can hold. We can hold, sir. We can take whatever they throw at us. Okay, let's see what General Disc does. Oh, they're shooting the commander. No! Nobody panic. The commander is, is dead. Nobody panic. We're holding the line. Let the commander know we held the line. Reload next turn. Is Light Wolf here? He was always saying how he was keeping him safe, not letting him have any fun. You got your fun now. Okay, back four. Back four and two. One, two, three, four, one, two. Do discs actually have a direction that they reaction fire in, or is it just wherever the disc feels like killing today? Because I figure it's wherever the disc feels like killing. We're gonna have to minigun it, man. We're gonna have to minigun it. What was it? Is it, am I going to be in blast range? Back four, back three and two. One, two, three, one, two. I don't think I should be in blast range, should I? Maybe we should let it get a little bit further away. There's no other contact. If we put Vic Vega inside the room. We might be okay. And then we can gun it down from further range where we won't explode. Get, uh, let's get the, get the AT ready. Light minigun ain't gonna do crap, but let's get the AT ready. Blast range is like 8 plus tiles. Jesus Christ. That's not necessary. Get the AT ready. And by ready, I mean don't load it, because I still don't trust you, but just, just have it. Maybe we should give it to Kilmore. Dad, we're well out of range. Uh, let's... Let's go hide. You wanna do a tactical reload? Let's do a tactical reload. Yeah, we should put an AT mine around here too. Nah, hold the AT mine for now. Let it move. Zalzadar's got the motion tracker, but there's no real good places I want to move him to. They're all death trap rooms out there. Hold for now. Hold for now. Patience. Love and patience. Holy crap! Oh no! A's coming in! I didn't even check boards. Three by two. Okay, so... Two, 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 three, and two, four. What? Oh no, that's me. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I spooked myself. It's coming from inside the room. Hold the Vago. Bought. No more toids. No more tears. Oh, disc is on the move. 
<laughs> this thing is just policing our base. It's terrifying. Six by six. Six, six, six. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six by six. That's its first tile. So it's all around here right now. We can let it move around, and when it's in a it's in a good position, we pop out and we're gonna we're gonna blow it up. We're gonna blow it up. Where do you say it was again, Bort? I mean spiritual liege. Furthest tile is seven by seven. Seven by six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so it's in range. One, two, three, four, five, six. I was gonna pop out and throw the mine now, but I don't think it's a good idea. It'll see me. We're holding. We're ready. We're ready for it. Everybody's just hiding inside their rooms like, oh my god, oh my god, oh crap. I could try and do like a tap commit missile, but what if it goes through the walls again like with the Sky Ranger? Can I afford that blood on my hands? Yes. Boom, aim shot from across the zone. Nice shooting. Pop back in. Boom, aim shot from across the zone. I don't know how much it did to it, but it should have taken some damage. I mean, if they take four times damage from AoE, rockets should do lots of damage, even if it's just a multi-launcher. Oh crap, where's it gone? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> this isn't good. Uh oh. We should deploy another AT mine while we have the chance. I don't know if we have the chance though. Let's uh, switch out Spiritual Liege. You go for a run, Liege. We're going to get that mine ready. Get that mine nice and ready there. Maybe the first six didn't move. Maybe it's just chilling. Chilling like a villain. Coming in. Three by three is closest corner. One, two, three, one, two, three. So we got a disc right there. This is where the crossfire might have been helpful. What about you, Zalzada? Uh, we got no no idea where this last disc has gone. Christ. We're letting the discs take our ground. It's not not great. It's not a great idea. Oh. Hello disc. And goodbye. I think I read that wrong. Let's uh, let's all move away from the AT mine just in case it goes through walls, because it's always hilarious when that happens. Just back up, hide behind the toilets. Back up. Back up for the mine. Hey, thank you, Super Herrick. Welcome to subscribing. Thank you very much.
Oh. That was a hell of a breach. That sector just dove in up the stairs. Okay, so... Ah, the discs are back. Six by three. And three by four. Wait, which way again? Six by three. Six by three and three by four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. That one's right there. Okay. It took the AT mine and didn't really seem to care. Which is bad. For those keeping score. Let's get uh, the multi-launcher ready. Dick. Dick, are you a man and a half ready to use the multi-launcher? I think you might be a better man to use it. What's your accuracy? It's pretty good. Dick, we're trading. You're going to take out these discs. Ooh, we should just throw HE at them. That's a way better idea. Just start throwing HE through. Ah, I might blow up my walls, though. Somebody throw me the multi-launcher. Loaded. Because I ain't, I ain't screwing around. Throw me the loaded rocket launcher. I don't even need to drop my HE. What am I doing? I thought those were sectoids again. I'm so stupid. Oh yeah, Yoshikiro, you're meant to be doing this. Mine didn't do as much as I was hoping it would. Okay, let's get our boys ready. Okay, they're they're going around like hell. We got five by six. No. Horizontal first. Six by four. Two by five. What? Okay, so that's one right there. And then six by five was the other one, was it? Six by four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Well, we gotta try and kill him sometime. I suppose we're gonna have to pop out. Do a pop out attack. I nominate Bursu to check if it has reaction fire or not. Nope. We can shoot it. If it bleeds, we can kill it. If it bleeds, we can kill it. Nice! These guns can do anything. If it bleeds, we can kill it. Where's the last one again? One, two, five. Two by five. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, it's in this, it's in this, in this corridor. Let's get a uh, big large huge ready to blow it up, I guess. I don't know. Or well, we can take another rocket. Probably not a great idea. We'll wait for it. It'll keep pacing around. It'll come over here eventually, right? We'll be ready. It's pacing around looking for us. We'll be ready. Also, it doesn't bleed. Actually, remember that one disc that did bleed? I'm wrong. Tab Comet can maybe rocket it, but I'm a little scared he'll get shot in return, so... Also, if the rocket goes through walls, it will just destroy everyone. So I'm a little scared of doing that. Big Vega might be able to go move in and start to take it out, though. Big Vega is ready. Hmm. 
<laughs> oh god, it's gone. Or did it just not move? No, it moved, okay. Four by three. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Haha! Right there. Well, we can't shoot that, it's too close. It'll kill us all. But we do know where it is, at least. We are ready for it. I should just have him... We should send Spiritual Liege up top. And he can just follow it from the roof. He can pace around and follow it from the roof. With the motion tracker. It's kind of hard to read from up there, though. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, do we have Sectoids coming in? No, not just yet. We're clear for right now. Okay, it's leaving. It's like, screw this man, this is no fun, I'm out. The Germans tried to bring their tanks in. They got stuck in the bocage of XCOM's base with single-sided doors. Two by two. One, two, one, two. Okay, so we should be able to hit that corner of it. Good shot. Let's light it up. Hella tight. And walls do indeed seem to keep us safe. That was hella tight. That was, that was cool as hell. Alright, discs are down. Miniguns. I'm so glad I found miniguns. I'm so, so glad I found miniguns. So good. Alloy round miniguns are so good. Just bleh. Okay. Can you imagine if there wasn't a single choke point into this base? Like, can you imagine if the lift was like here and there were just rooms all around it? Can you imagine that hell? Oh my god. But motion trackers are definitely MVP. For today. And for every day. Hey, Schizohectic subscribe for 11 months in a row. Thank you, Schizohectic. Oh, here comes the next contestant. Thank you very much, Schizohectic. It bleeds, we can kill it. I don't believe we have any more proxy traps. Just keep the minigunning coming. Imagine if this base had double-sided doors everywhere, wouldn't that be horrible? Okay. Two by three. He should be right in the open. One, two, one, two, three. He's right in the open. I need a face check. Okay, looks good, Commander. I hope so. Duck. Going down. Special delivery. We should send someone over to handle the door opening. Ah, he's fine. He can open his own doors. Let's unload this while we're at it. Just in case. We don't seem to need it right now. Unload dick. Let loose the dick. So let's drop it. Get your old gun back, dick. Wherever it is. There it is. Get your old gun back. The sectoids will be coming. Hmm. 
No more straight to DVD, cause I got you and you got me. The Expendables, the Expendables, the Expendables. Little C4 knocking at your door, that's right. Don't make me come out there, that's right. Bring your disc ass to me. Bring your discs. Bring them. God, there's no time limit for me. Come on, disc. Seal ready, that's right. Red Alert 2 is a wonderful game. Seals are one of the best. There's so many versions of the Commando and Command and Conquer games, but Seals are one of the best ones. It was coming, then it left. It was on the way. And then it went away. Imagine if the motion tracker just ran out of batteries and we were just staring at a blank screen. I ain't going out there. I ain't going nowhere out there. Alright, the aliens have decided that they will simply hold their side of the base. We'll have the hangars and the laboratories. You get the living quarters and everything else. Tapcomet says such an exciting mission sarcastically, a little sarcastic face. Oh, that's good, Tapcomet. I'm glad someone's volunteering to go check where the disc went. Looks like we got a little volunteer right here. Tapcomet's gonna head down this nice little screwed up corridor. That's excellent. Thank you, Tapcomet. Alright. I think we're actually gonna have to go find them. <laughs> Stigma, she says, new sitcom. XCOM trying to live in the base of the aliens. The odd couple. Alright, tap commit. Load your gun. Let's go have a look. Don't worry, they'll get the door for you. Like, if this was real life, I'd just set up like a barricade here. Just like, probably put some sectoid corpses and mutilate them and hang them up from this corridor. And then we just wait. We just wait until, like, the U.S. Army came and helped us. Alright. Special deal. Rooks get to load their guns if they scout. One time offer. After you, rookie. The movement always spooks me. No, it's alright, that's my movement. Okay, we're gonna have to start leapfrogging up, I guess. I don't want to leave. This position has served me so well. I don't ever want to leave. This has been such a good position. I don't ever, ever want to leave. I don't want to wait for my life to be over. Here, Rook, drop your gun. You're more useful as an ammo mule. Get that ammo. That's worth more than your life, so bring it. Uh, 
Uh, you just stay in the bathroom. You're, you're too fat. XCOM 2 Resurrection has a volcano base in the Red Shen Toba. That's amazing. Shen made a submarine? I have to read that book. That sounds incredible. This is kind of like Dune, except instead of staying on rocks to not attract the worms, I'm staying inside rooms to not get destroyed by discs. You just stay in the bathroom, I think is- I've everyone agree that's best. Alright, disc is still staying away. How- how far is my peace of mind? Nine tiles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we know up to this exterior wall there's no enemies. Hey, that reminds me. You thought you could get out of this, Rook? I remembered you exist. Come on. Oh, so many... So many people. Tap commit. The heroic scout tap commit moves forward. Tap commit could not sit still another second. Quote, when am I going to get to kill some aliens, Commander? Well, they're coming now. No disc. Confirmed, we have no disc. Uh, by the way, you can unload your flamethrower again, Bursu. I trust you very little with that thing. Okay, we need to get that other kid with the motion scanner up here. We need spiritual liege up here. We're gonna start leapfrogging the scanners. All the rooks are trained to just hold their weapon in one hand, their ammo in another, and just run around like that. I got two rooks who are just carrying ammo. Open XCOM is a beautiful game. There's no way around it. You get your- <laughs> You get your troops to like, open up doors for your higher rankers. Thank you. Just so it uses less of their precious turns. So your lead scout with tap commit. This is my support team back here. Rookies must unload their guns again. I don't trust them. I don't trust any of the disgusting rookses. Okay. It's time to go. Let's go, Bursu. Imagine if there was a proxy grenade there still, can you imagine? Can you even imagine? Okay. We got no contact up here. Apparently we're good to move up. Apparently. Spiritual Liege. Most of you rooks can just chill out, I think. Just, just chill the hell out. rookies can just chill. There is of course a chance that the disc is just sitting still and we're gonna blunder into it, but that's the risk we take by moving it all. What was that noise? 
That was a door opening. Maybe they're out here in the hangars. What if it's up there? That's why Bursu's going first. Oh, we got contact. Five by three. And then, hang on, no. Three by five. And then six by seven. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Contact close. One sectoid there. To the stairs. And then what was it? Six by seven? Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we got a disc there. Hold on. I got this. <laughs> Crap! Either we missed or... Oh, maybe it's upstairs. Yeah, okay. It's upstairs. <laughs> okay, we need to get our, uh, our mini guns ready. Oh man, but anybody who opens the door for the minigun is going to be in the line of fire of the minigun. That's not good. We're going to have to put the miniguns up here. Curse these three dimensions of battle, that's right, Zimmer Oxide. God, this has been a long base defense, too. We're probably almost done, like, just from the base defense today. How crazy is that? One mission in base defense. It's nuts, is what it is. Nuts. Okay, our minigunners are doing all the work, so we may as well just stick them up there, I guess. No sense putting anyone else up there. They're not doing anything. Just have the extra ammo ready for time, time farther. Unload your gun. I don't trust you. Come here, Ammo Rook. Come here, Ammo Rook. Oh, God, what the hell? Hello, disc. Okay, considering how far it moved, I'd be pretty sure that thing can't shoot us. Um, but we are kind of close to the blast radius. What was the blast radius again? Big. They have a big blast radius when they die. I think we might need to run far away. Damn, the big bait. The big bait. I think we need to run. Anyone got an HE, by the way? Who is here? Yes, we do. I wonder if you could... Hmm. D. Valroff says it won't blow up if I flamethrower it. That seems like such a great way to get Bursu killed. I don't, I don't know. That doesn't sound good. Let's uh, hunker down for a second, guys. Hunker down. Even Tap Comet gets to hunker down. Once he unloads his gun. Pull back for a second here, guys. Just pull back for a second. I would, I would just lay into that thing with mini guns, but it's it's too close. It's too close for guns, which is amazing. Normally, nothing's too close for guns. Burst, you can't even see it right now, actually. 
Bursu, why don't you try to run away from it? And see what happens. Oh, Bursu, you're in trouble. Bursu will be fine. It can't react. It moved too far. We're just gonna go ahead and leave, Commander. Look, we're, we're totally fine. See you later, Disc. Just gonna go ahead and alley up. See you later. And then it reac reaction shots Vic Vega. <laughs> Just for no goddamn reason. Okay. Bursu's a little bit stuck. Oh, Bursu can maybe make it in if we make room for him. Why don't you just stay out there, Bursu? Yeah, he actually he actually can't. He actually can't get away. Poor Bursu. Bursu's stuck. Bursu gonna recon that cyber disc. Oh, it's right next to Kelnor. There it is, right there. It's probably got reaction shots now. Hey, Bursu, you wanna come in? You wanna come in, Bursu? Actually, Bursu, you might be able to kill it. Oh! My bad. Bursu, I bet you could kill that disc and be a hero. You could redeem yourself for how bad you were before. You could redeem yourself, Bursu. Bursu, you set yourself on fire! Why would you set yourself on fire, Bursu? That doesn't make any sense. Make room for the burning rookie. Who, against my better judgment, I will let share my room. Wow, you're really burning to death, huh, champ? Thank God I can drop that. I was not trusting you with that. Okay, hold the line, everybody. Just hold. Just hold the line. Okay, and... And... End. Bursu's still on fire. <laughs> Bursu, very much on fire still. Five by three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. We really need that hazmat suit. Okay, so it's right there. I bet it's got reaction fire. One, two, three. And it's too close anyway. Anybody got a med kit for Bursu? Who is on fire currently? I could try to hit you to put you out. Maybe, maybe you should just chill, Bursu. Just, just relax. Bursu's fine. One by four. <laughs> one, one, two, three, four. Okay, it's right here. Bursu. Do you want to just sit here and die, or should we try and kill it? You'll be fine. I'm sure Bursu will not be on fire next turn. Okay. Bursu's dead. But the disc is leaving. <laughs> you just shouldn't give rookies the flamethrower, really. Eight to four. Eight to four. I thought maybe they'd have one more turn. Eight to four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Now someone not expendable can pop out. Who 
Who's gonna scout this thing? Uh, why don't we bring Vic Vega over? No more straight to DVD. Who else shot one of their friends? Arthur Gibson? No. Tebow? Tebow's a hero. Tebow will, will scout for me. Next turn. Tebow's a, Tebow's a champion. Tebow will do it. God, there's still sectoids out there opening doors. That or it just floated off and opened the door. Which is probably what happened. But we ain't leaving till that disc come back. There it is. Six by six. It's like submarine warfare. One, two, three. It's all sonar. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. We can't hit him there just yet. We gotta wait for him to come back. One ping only, Vasily. Holy crap. One, two. So it's right there. Still too close for guns. There. Too close for guns. Four by three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. That might finally be close enough to take a shot of it, but it's got reaction shots, I bet. Hmm. Tap commit could test it. We could just let it leave and say goodbye to the disc. Or Big McLarge Huge could be a hero and pop out and get it. We've waited 75 turns. There's no need to start being heroes now. One by two. One by two. See, it's leaving now. This is good. This is what we want to happen. We want it to leave. In fact, get the get the minigun ready over here. Screw the screw the sniper. Get the minigun ready. Open that door for Mr. Glop. Get my minigun ready, boys. Not today isn't the day to face your fears. Osatsu. Holy crap! You can be seen through there, Osatsu. I just realized. The disc could get an angle on us from there. That's right, it'll just go back to the mothership now. Just gonna leave now. Alright. Fine, the disc's gone now. Now we can hunt it again. This is exactly what we wanted to happen. Huh. Now we've got the disc right where we want it. Away from us, far away. Liege. Where's the other dude who almost died last time? There you are, you're in the burn ward. No, no, where are you? Where's, uh, what's his face? Zalzadar land, come on Zalzadar land. Okay, go liege. Find that disc. Something. Something off in the distance. 
somewhere out there. This time I, I'm gonna leave my troops here so when the disc charges the rookie bait, we can actually kill it. That was my mistake last time, I brought the miniguns in. But I should have known the smell of rookies was enough to bring the disc. The smell of fresh rookie blood. Oh yeah, they're coming for that rookie blood. One by five. One, two, three, four, five. They're coming for rookie blood. Pop out. This is how it's done. One, two, three, four, five. Damn it, it's the upstairs one again. It got me again. It gets me every time. <laughs> every single time that sectoid gets me. But the disc is moving around out there. It's good. We just gotta lure it into this kill zone and then we'll tear it apart. Tactical reload. Oh! Oh, spiritual liege, no! It knew! How did it move that far and shoot you? Why couldn't it have been Bursu again? One by five, it's time to light him up for spiritual liege's sacrifice. One and two by five. One, two, three, four, five. It's right here in the doorway. Take cover. We're gonna light it up. Alright, it's time to gun it down. Beyblaze, let it rip. Yeah! Rookie blood. Rip Matt Ward and his ultramarines. The tree of liberty must from time to time be refreshed by rookies. Send another rookie out to pick up the motion scanner. Angelo, you look like a man who's ready. You've written your will, haven't you? Go get that motion tracker. That's right. Crap, no more tracker. If we run out of motion trackers, we're in trouble. Is the A still in the room? Where is he exactly? Five by three. Three by five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. So he's right there, that guy. And then where's his buddy? Oh, I'm out of time units. Right, well, we can start moving in with regular troops now to mop up the sectoids. Load your guns now, Rooks. Again. Time to mop up some sectoids. Have command drop that stupid thing, I think. You're gonna go get some, son. You wanna get some so bad, you're gonna get some. get to go. Time for the mop-up duty. Don't forget Dick kick him, he wants some. Once I build that extra building over here, I can motion scan from here and totally wall hack them too. That'll be great. by two, two by nine. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One back from the light tile. Get to cover. 
get to cover men. We'll see about that. Rookie. Still upstairs. It's always worth a try though. It's always worth a try just to check. What if it's a real toy? Wouldn't you have egg on your face? The commander says we have to mop up the roof toy. He's really making the commander very angry. Crap, tap commit. You're stuck. Don't worry, the door will shut. You'll be fine. Moving in, we're just gonna mop up like heroes. Rookie support staff following behind with the ammo. Ghost says, doesn't the size of the circle indicate whether the aliens on your floor or not? Hell if I know. You think I know how to use this thing? It just beeps and I shoot. Three by three. Not this time, Roof Toid. Not this time. This time, Roof Toid. Let's go, Rooks. It's mop up time. can just sit behind, they're not really good for anything. Oh, you got a shotgun. Rest of you though, rest of you can chill. by four and one by four one yeah i think that one one two three four five six seven eight one two three four right there get him rook rook Get him, Rook. Nice. Got him. 100% accuracy every time. Where's that other guy? One by four. One by four. One, one, two, three, four. Okay, he's far enough away from the stairs. Charge. Charge the room. Get in there. Check him out. Load your gun.
goddamn mission. It's a never-ending mission. I hope Roof Toy's the last one. Two. Down. We've taken out the roof toy. The commander will no longer be upset. Alright, we've got to spread out and clear the hangars now. The hell is that? That must be the contact I just took out, right? Yeah. Wasn't even the last one. Jeez, how many of them are there? The enemies of the Imperium are unending. Alright, the rest of the troops, the smart troops are going to stay here, I think. We'll put Bort up closer. Kelnor can keep motion scanning for us. Apart from that, the smart troops are going to hold back. We're going to hold the lift in case more reinforcements show up. That's what we're doing. Okay, we'll hold this side. And we'll get uh, some mini guns over here. Wait, you're not a real minigun. That's who I need. Savages are probably still inside the rooms they killed the dogs in. Hey, Subpipe, Blahunter10 just subscribed. Thank you, Blahunter10. Thank you very much. You've subbed at a time of great stress for the rebellion. It is a dark time for the rebellion. Sectoids have captured their secret base on Hoth. Rooks. One day you'll be needed. I don't envy the guy who has to clean up after all this. Toilet scrubbers can have a good time. Hey, thank you, Tazatine B1. Subscribe for 15 months in a row. Long ass time. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Oh, they're not even moving. They're just sitting still. Waiting to ambush me in their little murder holes. Bastards. Where could they be? Contact. 
This is the room where the commando went down, isn't it? We should check this one out. Man, they just blew the commander's body up. Ripping Pete's. We're gonna have to remake all that gear too. I don't think we lost anything too good except for the people. So much fire. We got them upstairs. They're upstairs. They're just sitting still so they don't come up on the scanner. Oh my god. Seven. We got movement now. Seven. Suddenly the scanner picks up. Beep, 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 beep. We got seven. And we got nine and four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Gotta be upstairs. Nine. Beep, beep. Oh, he's on the stairs? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four. Tile next to the stairs, right there. Wasted. to call the men back. We got sectoids over here. Two sectoids upstairs. Get the men moving back. Nuke em, Rico. Nuke em. We haven't got an angle on them from there, sadly. Maybe we should bring up a rocket. Tap come here, bring up the rocket launcher. Drop your stupid gun. Bring up the launcher. So checking out this side. Clear. We gotta clear all these goddamn rooms. Only a couple left now. Suppression fire in there. <coughs> Keep him pinned down while Tap Comet crosses. Okay, we're gonna cross. We're good.
Huh. So clear. I'm gonna start heading back to help with the sectoids hold up in the whatever that room is. I actually don't know. Whoa! It's not clear! Kelno, we need help! It's not clear! Oh my god. These sectoids stay motionless so they don't come up on the scanner. They just sit there lying in wait. And then he just... He comes down the stairs and just starts blasting. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I don't believe these sectoids. Oh my god. I don't believe these sectoids. They're unbelievable. Spin that minigun around. We got five from both sides, boys. Seven by one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Down one, right? Yeah, okay, they're upstairs again. I'm starting to think firing a rocket is just going to hit the roof and kill myself. Or in this case, tap commit. I don't think it's a strong idea. Let's move around the side. Check that the hangers are clear. And then we can flank them and take them through the stairs. Two of them. Four and two. Seven and two. One, two, three, four, two. Five, six, seven and two. Holy crap, there's multiples. They're both upstairs. We're gonna hold till we get support, I think. Meanwhile on the side. All quiet. Flank around. gun in a good spot. Actually, you get ready, sniper. We're going to need you. Bring the minigun around. Oh, there's a guy in here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Dick. I'm so sorry. Got one. Ah! Take cover. Oh, that one's tough. Crap. Cover.
LMG down the corridor. Bringing in the fire. You okay, Angelo? You're just bleeding a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit of bleeding. You'll be fine. That was the last one. Two by three. One, two, one, two, three. That one's upstairs, obviously, still. We need a medic down here. Where's my medic? Triangle syndrome. Drop that ammo. Meanwhile, on the other th oh, on the other front, there's two fronts and they're both horrible. Eight by six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. He's at the top of the stairs. We're gonna get this little son of a gun. We're gonna get him good. We're gonna hose him full of holes. Where'd you go? Still there, huh? We'll see. I think maybe he's taking cover. Let's bring the scanner around. Get more accurate readings. Meanwhile, four by two. One, two, three, four. Upstairs. Let me in, I'm a medic. I'm here for your bleeding butt. Next turn, next turn I'm here for your bleeding butt. Not this turn. Holy crap. movement they're spooked up there let's get you upstairs to the side two by three one, two one two three time in here no problems Triangle Syndrome actually has no gun. Actually has literally no gun. Holding still. I hate these A's. Turn 100, A! And now they're just sitting still. Rick and Morty for a hundred turns. A hundred turns, Rick and Morty. Fuck. Oh, bad word. I said a bad word. Freaking. Oh! Oh, there's one upstairs! Oh! They're everywhere! They're holding God them everywhere. We got bleeding. We're I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding, Sarge. God damn, get up there. Get up there and kill him. Oh my God.
One, one fatal wound. Two fatal wound. Okay, you're in trouble. We need a med kit over here. Anybody got a spare med kit? Ah, uh, crap. Anybody see a spare med kit? God, close range blaster bombs. It's the reverse now. It's like we're invading the base. We gotta go door to door, rooting them out. That's the worst part. It's like they're defending the base now. It's horrible. Okay, let me out. I gotta go save somebody else's life. That person is bleeding to death, bro. They're not gonna have any more turns. You have to run across the, the hell room. Drop that in Yemen. Go, go, go. Movement, four, two. Screw it. He's only got a couple more turns. We're gonna have to do some vital surgery right here. The A's have controlled this room enough, damn it. We're gonna have to do surgery behind the stairs. Take it. It's your job now. <laughs> okay, we're stopping that bleeding a little bit. Will the death ever stop? Okay, Ozaku's well, safe for now. Heal up Zalzadar land. Oh crap, right a heal. Oh crap, right a heal. We gotta move in, we gotta do this, we gotta do this breach. Get ready, we're gonna breach any second. Dick kick him's going in. I need smoke. Who's got smoke? There's a smoke. Tap connect the smoke. Hey, wait, wasn't there an unconscious guy in there? Oh crap, there's an unconscious guy in there. We gotta move in. You and me, you and me, we gotta move in, Angelo. I just remember there's an unconscious guy in there. We gotta help. Send help. Send Yoshikiro. Send Triangle Syndrome too. Unconscious guy died, never mind then. Dog X 
activity. Oh. We got him. We got one. Zadar can do it. Aha! Okay, run. Dick can do it. Oh, Dick can't do it, no. Sue can do it. Got him. I think the room's clear now. I hope. Oh my god. Okay, so Zalzadar is still bleeding. We're out of Healy Juice. <sighs> Meanwhile. One, one by two. One by, okay, so he's definitely upstairs. Prepare to breach. Hurry up, Yoshikiro. I was gonna throw you to the vice. You're the operator now. Look at me, you're the motion tracker now. Charge the last sectoid. is attacking my lord what shall we do a fixed bayonet doesn't matter if you haven't got a gun you don't need a gun you just need to moxie just need to get moving motion track two by two okay get the door for us Got him dead to rights. Oh. Oh, it's over. <laughs> oh my god, it's over. It actually had to go from us defending the base to us assaulting the base. It's the sitcom. The aliens decided they own half the base and we own half, so we had to go take part, take back our half. Oh my god, we lived. 25 aliens killed, 10 XCOM operatives dead, 5 support units destroyed, so many $50,000 scout tanks dead. Oh, all the people who died. Oh my god. At least we didn't lose all our gear, there was no hangar fighting. We're gonna need to rearm after that one. Some gear got blown up, we lost an electro flare. That anti personnel mine finally got used. Good god. Yeah, damn right, there's some promotions. Big McLarge Huge and Glop getting recognized for their work. Bort getting a promotion for his great motion tracking. Dick Kickham, Big McLarge, Huge, and Glop all getting huge, huge. Time Father getting huge promotions for their work in defending the base. Tap Comet as well for leading, taking initiative, leading the charge when we were all holding down. Big Vega for all his sniping. T Bow for all the proxy mines. And Jello and Lazasku for being rookies who shot sectoids of assault rifles at the end. 
That's a lot of promotions. Oh my god. We, we stand. Here's the base we just defended. Here it stands. So what? That was... That was the workshop that we just... Okay, so the aliens were holding the small radar system is what it was. Small radar, large radar. They were holding workshop and they were holding lab. And we survived in the large living quarters and the general stores. But you can see how important it is to have your, uh, to have your base laid out exactly right. Well, next time, maybe we'll have some buildings over here, too, and then we'll have, like, even more room to the side to fill out. But the whole point is basically just to, just to shoot miniguns down hallways. It's so funny to see this place again in this... Oh, did a lab get blown up? Oh, one of the labs got destroyed. So you do lose buildings. So this lab on the... This lab on the left got blown up. Yeah. Good thing I built the other one, then. Good god. What are the stats after that? Fort Kilmer has got four kills. Can you believe that's actually taken us right to the end of Tuesday Morning XCOM? I'm sorry, it was just one mission and then base defense Tuesday Morning XCOM. Holy crap. Yeah, I would have had less losses if I'd separated it from the hangars. That's just how the base started, looking like that, unfortunately. I trusted the game to design the first base looking proper, but what are you going to do? Or did I do that? I don't, I don't know if I did that. I, I can't believe that took us all the way to the end of TMX. That's insane. Um, let's look at the kills before we end, and then I'm going to have to do a replace stuff before we end. Kelmo got four kills, but more importantly, he did all the scanning. Two kills for Dick. Dick got, like, I think one extra kill. Big Mac Large Huge. Can we look... you, you got to look at the stats as well. Kelmo's got 48 strength. But Big McLarge Huge, Commander Big McLarge Huge, with 12 missions and 22 kills, has so many time units, so much stamina, so much firing accuracy, so much. He's got 61 strength. He can actually. Soon he'll be able to dual wield miniguns. He has 49 health. I, th I think one of my favorite parts is Big McLarge Huge is my greatest trooper, and he has 10 bravery. He's like the Alex D of this campaign. Time Father Glop doing pretty well as well. 62 strength, 48 health, so much stamina, oh my god. Glop's just like him, he's very similar. And he's actually got bravery. Tap Comet's got pretty good stats as well, 73 accuracy and 51 strength. We can upgrade Tap Comet to a minigun next time. I think everyone who can possibly use a minigun is going to get a minigun. The minigun is just too good. Vic Vega. Has a lot of stamina. I don't know why he has so much stamina. A lot of time units. Huge accuracy. Tons of strength. He could have a minigun too. Everyone can have a minigun if they want. 58 health. Holy crap. Su Manchu. Doing pretty well. I like it. I like the lighter parts of the bar. It makes me feel good in my endorphin center somehow. It, lo it releases a lot of dopamine when I see big amounts of this like lighter colored bar in Open XCOM. Su Manchu is pretty good. Big Vega has 18 kills, by the way. Big Vega got a lot of no scopes on those sectoids. Graceful Aurora, 810. Graceful Aurora didn't get to do too much in that mission, but that's how we like it. In fact, I think I actually forgot about Graceful Aurora and they sat in the bathroom the whole game. I think I forgot to bring Graceful Aurora. I can't remember. Good stats, though. Dead Demon wasn't on that one. T Bow, good throwing accuracy. Still terrible strength. Got a few kills on that one. Zalzadar land out for 33 days. Zalzadar land got hit really hard. That last one where the sectoid... I can't believe the sectoids actually hole out inside the buildings and just like... Just fanatic it. Just shooting bombs at close range, running out of the door like Allahu Abar. It's amazing. It's it's some beautiful AI. And, and, uh, and a glow out for 22 days as well. But she got a kill. Level up her health a bit. Triangle Syndrome, the Medic. Shiro Okamoto. Ammo Carriers. Was Asku out for 16 days. Notice everyone who got a kill got wounded. <laughs> In the rookie side. Beautiful. These people didn't make it. Like, I couldn't even remember what happened to Cory Leova. I, I can't remember what happened to her. We remember Bursu. 
poor Billy. Billy was the one who was going to the small radar room. Lubomir, what happened to Lubomir? Oh, that's right, Lubomir. Lubomir, and was it Spiritual Liege? They were taking the last room. I don't remember what happened to Gibson. I think, was Gibson, was Gibson the one who got flamed? Because that's a Vargo. No, David Toma got flamed. I don't remember what happened to Savago. Savago was this mission as well, I think, wasn't he? Oh, no, was he last time? Sloxy. Were these in the base defense? I can't remember. I think this was the base defense. Oh, that's right. These are the guys. Savago, Lightwolf, were holding that room. Sloxy was holding the room of the dog. There was a third person in the room of Lightwolf and Zavago. Was it Gibson? I think it might have been Gibson. I forgot about those guys. That was... Th those guys were screwed from the start. If only they'd had miniguns. If you... If only they'd had miniguns, maybe they would have been okay. And all those dogs, too. All those poor dogs. Well, we've got a new commander now. All those dogs, man. Okay, well, we need some more rooks. We need some more dogs. Before I end here, we need to replenish. Or otherwise, I'm going to forget to do this next week. Damn, man. Soldier's so expensive. This better be near the end of the month. I need more money. Let's get some more troops. Let's get... Let's get hammered. Let's get... Tabcomet says, I'm the most veteran trooper of 17 missions. The runner-up has 15 because of wounds or whatever. you got to promote me again. Tapcomet, you actually got a little bit of action in that mission, I think, didn't you? You got to shoot a cyber disc. Oh, yeah, Dino, and we'll get you a Dino, M Junior. Don't worry. We'll get you another flamethrower. Even if it goes to rough face, we'll get you in. All right, so i got to replace this gear. We need more dogs. Dogs are like 10,000. Let's just get a bunch of dogs. Okay, we can't. Need more storage space. Crap. They reaction fired all my goddamn smoke pellets. Next time we have a base defense, hopefully we'll have room for a tank as well. That'll help. Although the tank has to stay outside and fight the cyber disc, so maybe not. Just more motion trackers, really. Motion trackers are god. Motion trackers are amazing. A couple more miniguns. You can never have too many. Flamethrower is fine. <laughs> Pursu. Pursu died so bad. The AP mines weren't really that good. The proxy mines were though. The proxy grenades did well. A couple more of these. Uh, okay. We think that's that. And next week I just have to remember to make a whole bunch of alloy armor again. Uh, alloy ammo again. Holy crap though. That was, uh, that was a hell of a base defense. Thank you, uh, all the heroes who kept our base alive. You, your sacrifice will never be forgotten. And we need to get rough base ready. We need to send them some miniguns. None of these troops can handle the minigun is the problem. We're going to have to send a couple of troops to this base who can handle the minigun. So that if it gets attacked, we can do the same tactic. This base will probably hold a bit better because no one will start out here in the hangars. We'll just be holding the large living quarters. Good god, though. But that's it. That's it for this week. Oh my god. Saved. I just want to make sure it's saved. After all that, it has to be saved. No, it's... Yeah, it's saving a mana game. Oh my god. Miniguns are god. Miniguns carried us. The sniper rifle carried us against the sectoids. The miniguns carried us against the cyber discs. Yeah, you're right, Ife. I probably need to sell the A's to make room. Um, that was a campaign. That was, that was, that was a day. Uh, we'll continue that campaign next week. Holy crap, my brain just can't even think after that base defense. That's a base defense. That is, that is some hell. You don't need to bring in, well, I guess you do bring in five cyber discs at once in this base defense, just like enemy within. Um, good God, what's next? Uh, I, I I will recommend uh, 
first of all, I'll plug myself. I'll say, come back tomorrow, day after, day after that, day after that. Uh, when we stream throughout the week, I say this every week, so you guys should know by now. We stream every day of the week, not just XCOM. Uh, we're taking a bit of a break on Thursday for XCOM still until XCOM 2 comes out. Once I can play XCOM 2 on stream and uh, that kind of thing, uh, that'll be coming back. We'll be doing Thursday night XCOM again on Thursdays. XCOM 2 all day, every day. Uh, probably for a lot of those days as well when it first releases. Uh, apart from that, uh, I don't know if we'll be doing an after stream. Uh, Una secundo, por favor. Let me switch this over to the waiting screen. There we go. Alright, so uh, also be sure to check out the rest of Firaxis O'Clock. Uh, same time as this stream started, uh, you know, but actually on time because their exploit works. Uh, sec. Um, but do come along on uh, Thursday because I'm pretty sure on the Firaxis O'Clock picture it said there's some more XCOM 2 on Thursday from Firaxis Games. Oh, was it Thursday or Friday? I don't know. One of those days. I'm pretty sure it's Thursday. Uh, I think we're doing a post stream afterwards. I don't think I'll be streaming because I've got some work to do. Because uh, you guys want your videos. Uh, but Jamble will be doing some more XCOM uh, in a couple of minutes after me, I think. Uh, but yeah, come along on Thursday for Fraxis O'Clock on the Fraxis Games channel. Follow their Twitter at XCOM at Fraxis Games to follow that. Because they'll be doing some XCOM 2 uh, then. And I think it'll might just be some uh, it might just be some new stuff, I think. If I, if I am guessing right. So come along for that. That seems like it'll be quite exciting. Uh, apart from that... Yeah, uh, that that was that was a week. We survived somehow. Uh, let me get a good soundtrack to play us out as we switch over here. What's a really good theme? Oh yes, that'll do. Okay. Let's see. Let's put this one on. So, stick around. We'll be doing uh, a little bit more. Jam will be doing a little bit more XCOM, uh, some Long War in uh, two or three minutes. So, stick around. I'll be going down and then she'll be going up. I mean, I'll, I'll be putting the stream down and then she'll be putting her stream up. Uh, apart from that, I'm going to play out of a nice little soundtrack to commemorate the beautiful fight of the base defense. And until then, uh, I will see you guys uh, tomorrow next day. I'll see you guys around. Uh, so, until next time, hope you had fun. See ya. <laughs>